Greetings, adventurers. I am the Pretty Pretty Princess, also known as the Friendly <laughs> Neighborhood Dungeon Master, also known as the F and DM. And this, my friends, is Cold Hard Witch. Welcome. Thank you for chilling with us on this Saturday night. All right. Um, joining us tonight around the table, as always, we have Nathan, who is playing Professor Reginald, also known as the Warlock. We have Madeline, who plays Zolvana, our bard. We have Buddy, who plays Xander, the wizard. Uh, Rodney, who plays Flynn, the dwarf flinging fighter. And then, of course, there's Lee, who plays Herrick, the cleric. And last but never least is Amy, who plays Feriel, the drogue. Gather around the campfire, everyone. Mm. When we last left our intrepid adventurers, we had journeyed to the East Haven Town Hall. After defending the hall for the night, and after the mysterious disappearance of Zalvana the Bard, who was later discovered to have just taken a little trip down the road to the Wet Trout to gather some intel and also drinks, um, they all sort of convened back in the morning. No attack had been made on the town hall proper. And so the group convenes now in the town hall to decide whether or not they should journey forth into the wilds of Icewind Dale to again seek their fortune or try to stay in town or seek advice elsewhere. All right, party members. So it is now the morning of, and remember that uh, Prudence Tarkwald had offered you uh, a sizable amount of gold for the cauldron which is currently being stored, I believe, in the dungeons. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, yes. Uh, so she says that she's going to... I'm not sure, DM. Is that where it's being stored? <laughs> uh, oh, I want y'all to check your notes. I know where it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, and so she said that she's offering you... She's going to pay you uh, by noon today. So you're kind of starting in the morning. We'll say it's about 9 o'clock now. All right, friends. What say you, oh, adventurers of mine? So I, I would like to get paid first. Um, first and foremost, I think that's what our <laughs> what I want to get cleared up before we make an idea of whether or not to leave here. Agreed. Yeah. I still think we should leave here after, but definitely want to get paid first. Yeah. Well, so I mean, you had mentioned um, yep. that your 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 new intel was talking about ruffians and and Care Koenig, but yep. we also know that you know Care Denival they're having trouble with their their speaker who hasn't been seen in a while and we seem yep. to be the people who sort out speaker troubles so and we have to go through care denival to get to care koenig so well, i guess that's our kind of our our, our thought is yeah. it i mean it seems like we're on the right trajectory so might as well two birds one stone yeah and hopefully we'll get paid for that as well yes is there is there any way we can get paid before noon and just book it out of here? Uh, I, well, we got to get the, the speaker and Indra together to, to finalize that, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause they're both, they're both here now. And as long as nothing weird happens, knock on wood, um, we can take the money and, <laughs> and go. Yeah. Well, Is we there... can always uh, send Herrick in to, you know, kind of, uh, get the speaker to, you know, hurry along because they just have such a connection. I think. Yeah, it's been a bit so that'll, that'll go great. Found some ice cream. I was going to say. So <laughs> currently, Herrick, I've got you still in the office. Uh, yeah, sitting there awkwardly. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what no, I thought. He's still so, there. <laughs> so being a bit of a yeah. Uh, a isn't the weather nice and cold? <laughs> <laughs> it is the north. Yes. Okay. Is there anything productive we can do in the three hours? Mm. Um, mm. We say. do know that the attacker from yesterday did head north, um, but that's kind of all we have to go on. True. There's the wet trout, but one of us has already been there, and I don't know how... I don't know how much is more, more is to be gained by, by heading out there. True, true. Uh, Princess DM, um, the uh, can you tell us again <laughs> how how what the travel time is to Care Dinaval? Ah, yes. Okay, so travel time to Care Dinaval. I believe Isn't it nine hours. 
Uh, yes. So Care didn't all it well done. I mean that's that's what I was thinking, but I didn't write it down. I I'm a little leery of if we if if we're not gonna get paid till noon, even if we, we scoot out right then. That's a that's a long trek. And I know it's always night here, but I no, mean that's probably us sleeping on the road, which is I mean, not but good. do yeah, we really want to stay here another night though? No. Nope. No, ab- <laughs> absolutely not. I, I is there refuse. A, yeah. I will leave before we get paid, before I spend spend another night in this town. Uh, but yes, no crap. um there's going to be another nine hours to care dinner ball. Is there a place in between or another town in between we can stop at all? Nothing? Mm, not um, really, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Unfortunately, on, on this side of Icewind Dale, so sort of East Haven is sort of the hub of the east. And then mm-hmm. to the to the south, you have like Goodmead and I think Lonelywood as well. And then to the north, it's just Care Dinaval and Care Koenig. So. Yeah. How much were we getting paid for this? Well, uh... How much does your note say? Someone else. <laughs> oh, jeez. I've got <laughs> stand by six, six thousand gold. Here. I've got wrote down. That's exactly what mine says. Uh, yeah. Same here. Five hundred in gems worth of gems. Yeah. Five hundred gold pieces worth of gems in gems each. Mm. Now, is that it's... nine hours by road? That is that is nine hours uh, by road, and that travel time is assuming that you're traveling on foot. And say we could uh, could rent either a, a wagon or sleds or something if we wanted to make it before nightfall. Also, nightfall. Some, if someone's doing trade and it's going between, you know, go, going the way we're going, we can hitch a ride maybe or something. Yeah, because I mean, we should definitely wait and get paid, but. Yeah, maybe we should rent something. We could also consider Let's see if we can hurry this process along. What was yes. that, Ferriel? We could also consider cutting across the lake. I know our mm. last travel across the lake wasn't exactly thrilling. I but... recommend. I I suggested that. I thought you were the one, Ferriel, that <laughs> that like hands down rejected that idea of going out on the lake again. I think mostly that was that was Xander and and uh, Zelvana who were okay. just not yeah. into it. All right, so let's take the time until we get paid to see if there is a, a wagon leaving out or something we could rent. Yeah, let's do that. Or things we could borrow. Procure? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we can do that here. <laughs> We do that anyway. What are you talking about? Well, but I mean, it's in the vein of the the the, the ten towns, right? I mean, pickpocketing is legal. Is like straight up stealing someone's wagon. Uh, the keys in the pocket. As long as you don't like, get caught. I like Z suggesting the Paul call, where you just go yeah. ahead and stop the next one. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Someone needs to do like the Disney princess call out the open window. Yeah, it's, it's the ice cream <laughs> Uber. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I feel like that's straight up a thing for Flynn. I think that that Flynn would have the most Disney success calling Paul. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah. Well, Professor, do you want to go talk to the the the, the speaker? Uh, where's Herrick? I haven't seen Herrick in in quite some time. I don't think he ever left the office. I think he's still talking to the speaker. Actually, he is. Uh, oh, shall good. I go? Maybe, shall I go check on them? Yeah, maybe she's counting money out for him. Hmm? Right. Well. Uh, I'll head that way. Anyone who would like to come with is more than welcome. Yeah, I'll go. Andrew's right, em- em- mad at me, so I'm going to go ahead and hang back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as you go ahead and walk in to the uh, speaker's office, she is sitting there, and both her and Imdra are uh, sort of uh, looking over what is, appears to be, uh, the payment that has finally been uh, brought in. Um, and you see on her desk uh, a few uh, a few gemstones. Uh, Herrick is, of course, uh, I imagine you're raptly attentive uh, to the, uh, the, uh, the, the gems on the desk. Yes, sorry. Mm. No, I'm sorry. And ice cream still, though. 
No, um, I just was saying, because we've got Devon Rue in chat, and obviously she said she created the map for Peter. Uh, the Curse of Strahd map. She did not know. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, I just, uh, well, yeah, I'll, thank you very much. He absolutely loved it. It was perfect. Oh, no. Adored it. He was over the moon. So, bless you for that. Yeah, Harry's just sitting there, probably sipping a cup of coffee. <laughs> he finally got the coffee. Yeah, yeah. he did. Good. And so, Bruden's like, oh, thank goodness. You're, uh, you're here. Excellent. Um, uh, Is the rest of your party still in the building? Yes, they're, we were just having a meeting in the other room. Uh, good, 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 good. I was just keeping her safe. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Herrick. You're very kind. Yes, no, he was very um, present and... Awkward. And she, that, it yes, was very that, awkward. Oh, mm -hmm, so awkward. <laughs> um, but uh, here is your payment again. Thank you so much for all you have done for the town of East Haven. And I promise you that cauldron will be well, uh, will be taken care of. We'll see to that the people get fed. And she hands you, Professor, uh, a, a little uh, a cloth sack. Great. Uh, I will open it, take one out, just inspect it. I'll toss one to Herrick and say, give it a look. Yeah, we'll look it over. I, I love that you're questioning, like, right in front of her if whether the payment's good or not. <laughs> Whatever. You know, what one does he chuck in <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I say I love it. Yeah. Those those, those gems came from uh, Tourmaline. Uh, they have uh, quite a, a rich gem mine there. Uh, and this, that's why it took me some time to get them. But they they should be good. They should yeah, be. Get way. his jeweler's kit out and. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, that was very nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what kind of gems are they? Uh, so it's a bit of a, a scattering of gems. There's an amethyst. There are two amethysts, two oh, emeralds. Hold on, hold on. All right, on. all right. Um. Okay. Two amethysts. Two emeralds and two rubies. All of the gemstones equal five. Uh, all of the gemstone. Each gemstone equals five hundred gold pieces. Oh, okay. Each one. Each one equals 500 gold pieces. Wow. Yeah, y'all got a haul. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Um, is there a a anything else that I, I can do to help you on your way? This should do quite nicely. We Ex appreciate it. Excellent. Oh, I, I thank you. I, again, I, I know that we have delayed you uh, yeah, on your adventures, and I, I just, I thank you so much for your help. Uh, professor, it. professor, professor, a ride, a ride with the cat cart. Uh, you know, I've just, I've just recalled uh, something that we were, uh, we had been talking about. Uh, is, is there any way that we could, anywhere that we could rent uh, mounts or uh, carts? Is there anyone heading, heading north that you know oh. of? Well, the, uh, there are the stables that are at the at the, the head of the town, which uh, should be able to outfit you. Uh, it is uh, to the south, but I imagine if you're heading out, you would want to go that way, unless you're trying to cross the lake, which I, I wouldn't recommend. What would yeah, the no, ice? thank you. Yes, what would the ice flow? I look for the dog. Oh, I love dogs. Where are they? Where is he? It's actually the, that's actually the winged snake in her cage. She's like, shh, Emerald, quiet, quiet. Oh, barks. Yeah, it's a, it's a barking snake. It's, mm. um, but yes, the, the stables at the at the front of the town should be able to assist you. In, in fact, I, I could extend a, a letter of credit, though I would imagine with the amount of money you had, it's certainly... Well, if you wish it, I would be glad to help. Uh, any help you could provide is appreciated i don't i certainly don't expect you to to foot the bill but if you could just give a, a a letter of just just vouching for us letting them know that we're at least good that for payment citizens, if they would be willing to cut us a break that, that kind of citizens thing in good standing of course yes. of course um zero oh. oh i'm so sorry um right uh I, I, I will find that note myself. One second. And she jots down a few things to herself and then uh, seems to scurry back into the room that you know is, in fact, the closet. So uh, you're a little confused as to why she decides to duck into the closet, but it's at that point that Imdra steps forward and is like, you know, there hasn't been an attack yet, right? 
An attack there. where? Here. The Durgar. He mentioned that there would be an attack, and there hasn't been one yet. I... Look, I, I know that we have asked again and again for your help. And I understand if you need to go, but your assistance would be greatly welcomed for, for just one more night. Yeah, oh, we could do one more night, can't we? I don't know if we can, Eric. Oh. There's pressing matters that we need to attend to. And I'm sure that with the warning that the guards here would have more than enough time to make adequate preparations, I'm, I'm sure there's other town guard in the town nearby that you could pull in to supplement your your security forces here as well. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I'll happily offer. I'll stay and help you. You would? Oh, of course. There's no point trying this hard to save your life and then let you die, is there? Oh, thank you. I, I, I don't mean to be uh, uh, cold-hearted about this, uh, for, forget the phrase, but um, I, I, I kind of work on a day rate. Um, if you do need, if you, if you if you do need us to stay for another night, we'd probably need a payment for 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 another day of service. I can get you. I can get you another one of those gems. Five hundred gold pieces should be more than enough for the night's pay. Professor, we'll discuss it. Uh, yeah, we'll Please. bring this information to the rest of our rest of our party. Thank you. We'll certainly let you know before we leave. I would I would appreciate that. Thank you. Just so that I can make whatever preparations I must for this evening. Um, I would recommend taking whatever preparations you can, regardless of our decision. I will do what I must to defend the speaker. <clears throat> I imagine you'd like to get back to your party. Uh, Herrick, if you wouldn't mind joining us. Prudence comes back out. And goes, oh, I am. Um, oh, she's like dabbing her eyes. I've, I found your note. Um, it was in the other room. Silly of me to forget. Um, so uh, here you are. And she just, uh, Professor, very quickly like stuffs uh, a note into your hands. Says, ah, and thank you again for all you've done for East Haven. And then she quickly crosses to the desk and uh, sits down. And sure enough, in your hand is a note that says. Uh, to whomsoever should receive this, this, these are people in good standing with the Speaker of East Haven, as hereto signed by Prudence Tarkwald, current uh, Speaker in standing for East Haven. Thank you very much. And uh... are you okay, my dear? Of course. I have a a, a, a city to run, a town, and um, sometimes it's just a. a it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. You've been Thank through you. a lot. Thank you, Herrick. I do appreciate that. That's all right. How's your coffee? It's very nice. Good. I'm glad to hear it. I could make it up. It's very nice. And I will... <laughs> Shuffle <you. laughs> Right, um, let's, let's go for it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out. I walk into the room, sipping my warm, lukewarm coffee now. <laughs> are you coming with us, Eric, or are you staying in the room? No, he's obviously following you, yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right, gang. Well, Imdra would like us to stay another night because they're still thinking this uh, Durgar is planning a uh, jailbreak of some sort. And could use our help. Uh, she's offering. Oh, by the way, she gives these, and I'll. <laughs> oh, by the way, here's the payment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a small bag uh, full of gems. They're very um, nice. Are, 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 are one, we, are one we just... for each of us, or we can keep them. In... That's what I was gonna say. Are we gonna disperse them? them? Or are we gonna keep them in kind of the the kitty? Or how many uh, do we get again? 
Six. Six. Yep. Six gems worth 500 gold each. So there's one for each of us if we was just one, want to split was, was, was one of those a sapphire? Never, mm. never mind. It's not, it's not important. It's not important. It's not important. No. Ruby, it is a mod Amethyst, fight. Amethyst, Amethyst, rubies, and emeralds. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't know that. Duh. Color's not right. Okay. Did did they offer anything if we stay another night? Another stone. Another gem world. Another 500. So, I mean, I, I, I certainly don't want to balk it at, a, at, at an, a good pay day, but at the risk of sounding indelicate, could we just kill the Durgar and post his corpse on a pike outside? And then if the others came to free him, they would certainly see that there's no point in assaulting the town hall because their friend has expired. We also Not haven't or... investigated north at all. We know I... these tracks keep going north, but we've just been sitting at the town hall. I right. mean, would it would they just go or would they like get really angry and then attack the town? Oh, they would definitely get angry and attack and slaughter um, everyone. I don't know if the Jorgar was telling the truth or not, but he claims to be rather important in his group, which I mean, he could just be lying to make himself seem important so we don't harm him, but um he could be a valuable prisoner, so there might be some value in Maybe not just outright executing him, but we could publicly threaten him. Could we get a sled and have him be the the engine for it, and then we take the danger away from the town? So that That's we get strung by my a bunch favorite of idea on the road? Yet. Yeah, no. <clears throat> I mean, if Durgar come up on us, we're going to kill them anyway, right? That point. It well, allows I mean, if, us if... to leave, and it protects the town. Professor, you're in an awful hurry to leave. I'm Why just not? so done with this town. It won't make a difference, will it? They started <laughs> trying to murder them regardless. I will well, be staying stay... anyway. Even if we stay another night, there's no guarantee that they're going to attack tonight anyway. I say, how long How long do we stay here waiting for Durgar to attack That's when we, we know that wait. there are, are just as many troubles? There are just as many troubles in the other towns. Who knows, by delaying here, we could be causing... We could be taking away help that we could have offered somewhere else. You think they could handle the Durgar, though? No? No, no absolutely. I, I don't think so. We, we've we seen think these guards. Dax and Sven could handle them. some Durgar. There. Hmm. Uh, you know... So here's the thing. How many Durgar could they possibly send to rescue one person? Four. Okay, they send could four people. Could be hundreds for all we know. If they send hundreds, not even we can protect the town. If they exactly. send four and the guards can't protect them, then they aren't actually in charge of this town. I very much question whether they are in charge of this town already. Oh, well, one of, a, life, one of us has said it, so we don't have to both say it. <laughs> you're, I think you're muted, DM. No, I I haven't said a word yet. I'm oh, just, sorry. I'm just, I'm just enjoying your machinations. That's all. I better go oh, check my... my trap in case there's a couple of guards dead inside. It. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Mm. All right. So it sounds like the party seems to be split on whether you stay the night or you get your money and you start huffing. Does that sound about right? Mm -hmm. More so what we're trying to figure out what to do with the Durgar. If we're going to take him with us, maybe potentially, or kill him and put him on a stake and piss off the other Durgar or leave him here and have the guards deal with it. I'm more than willing to just take him with us. Uh, we we all know something, DM, right, about Durgar. I mean, would, would, we, would we know or would, would Xander know that it's not a question of pissing them off. They're pretty much always in an unpleasant, aggressive, attacking kind of mood. Yeah. So even with so uh, as uh, as much as I don't like to cast aspersions, uh, everyone sort of uh, like most under common races, the Durgar, the Drow, uh, you know uh, these these creatures who dwell uh, in the dark. Uh, she's are, given. She's given you the eye. I know. I know. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> they, I'm just a they, simple rogue. They are. So she's a, just a she's simple a rogue. rogue. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they are always looking to 
be the aggressor. They are looking to claim what is considered to be rightfully theirs. And so the fact that there were Durgar in this territory means that they clearly are looking for something, or they want something, or like, I mean, you, you have the map yourself that has all of the ten towns mapped out. So there's something afoot. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I, I the reason I ask that is to then party venture back to the party. It's like if if they if they took him out of the cell and gave him tea and cake, and the Durgar showed up to retrieve him, they might just as well be angry pants, and they might burn this place to the ground. So I don't know that we should be concerned about making them mad or not, because I feel like they're going to be mad, no matter what. Yeah. If we remove the Durgar, I think that is the best chance we have of keeping this place safe, honestly. With a big sign that says, come find us in Kerkonic. Yeah, we, we've we got your guy. Because we're going to Care Denival first, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in Baldur's Gate, bitch. Bring yeah. it. <laughs> Now we're definitely going to Lonelywood. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I mean... All right, friends, so it is now the noon. You are sort of the peak of Icewind Dale day. Remember that uh, you in the, uh, the with the Rhyme of the Frostmaiden being in full effect, there is always this sort of twilight dark that is just sort of pervas- pervasive throughout the land. However, between the hours of like 10 to 2 is when you get the dim twilight of what considers to be daytime, all right? So you've got, it's now noon. Are we looking to move on? Or are we going to stay here for the night? Herrick's already um, made his mind up. He'll be staying. Herrick will stay. Okay. Even if we take the Durgar, you're going to stay? What about about Flynn? Flynn, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay or are you going to go? They offered you a pretty sizable reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with with the money involved, Flynn's vote is still for for one more night. Okay, so Flynn's down for one more night. Uh, Fariel, I'm gonna say, with both Herrick and Flynn staying for the night, what would you say? I want to stay, and I want to, with some of the remaining daylight hours, potentially try to go north a little bit where we saw those footprints and see if maybe there's any more information to be gleaned. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So you, yeah, you, you can definitely take a, a trip to uh, the, the, the wet trout and the north of town if you wish. Uh, excellent. Uh, Zilvana, what do you think between you've got now three party members saying that they're going to stay in for the night? Can you come back to me? <laughs> all right then all right then uh so that uh i believe i'm up to the professor professor what say you well i'm certainly not going to leave people behind so if, if people Especially are half the party behind yeah I say, <laughs> if people are if people are determined to stay the professor will is we'll it determined grow. to stay, or if they're like just going to get well paid? That's just one of the things. So. Yeah. For Harry, I mean, he feels on bound to make sure she stays. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Does that mean we get your cut of the money, Professor? Because you said you didn't want it if you had to stay the night. Damn, no, she's good. I mean, <laughs> rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a use for the money at the moment. I've Love got it. plenty. Love so it. if you need it, you're more than welcome. So to your it. portion goes into the group fund then. Brilliant. Fine by me. All right. So then, sounds like the professor is staying. Xander, what say you? Well, I guess I would begrudgingly stay because my survival is yeah nothing. Yeah. My survival instinct, rather the role, um, splitting the party is yeah. There's there's splitting the party, and then there's walking out on your own. Yeah, there's <laughs> splitting the party, and then there's splitting the party between two different towns. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am I am unhappy about it, but I will uh, I guess I'll stick it out. I imagine we'll have a delightful character monologue from you later. Alright, and last but never least, Zilvana. I will begrudgingly stay as well. Oh, okay then. So, now friends, it is noon. Uh, you can certainly uh, for the, the day after try to secure travel if you wish, but uh, there's no need to uh, purchase your rides just yet. Um, we do have the wet trout to the north, if you wish. Fariel, you're going to go ahead and do a little bit 
Innocence? Yeah, I was going to see if anybody wanted to come with me. To... I would like to go. go with Fairy Yes. We should all go. But I was going to ask if people would, would be interested in. If we in need to investing. secure transport as well, we could always split up and have some people secure transport while some of us check it out. I don't know, up to you guys. No, we. We have we have the letter uh, to secure transport. I don't mm -hmm. think transport will be much of an issue. Um, I feel like if we have the time and we're going to stay here anyway, our best use of our time would be trying to figure out where those tracks went and uh, if there's anything that we can do with that. Right. Right. Okay. Great. So, and um, the and the entire party will go trekking after tracks. Well, no, 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 you didn't ask that. You were asking everyone individually. <laughs> true, true. So, Fairy is going. Who else is going? I'll go. Ben? Yep. I'm, I'm going. going. Eric? Yeah. Professor? I'm going. Zilva? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if, we can, if, we can, if we can make a stop at a, at a shop on our way, uh, checking these tracks. I was then... going to ask, so who wants to invest in some heavy plate? I can't wear heavy plate. What are you some heavy, heavy plate. Say some more. Say some more. <laughs> <laughs> We could, we could. Uh, I've, I think it's a really good idea, good idea that we uh, we buff up the guy that stands in front and protects the squishes. Oh, so you want us to get some armor for Flynn? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's... I'm going to say, last couple of battles, it's been Herrick and Xander and Flynn like 15 feet behind. Like, check it out. I got, I got a plan. I got an idea. <laughs> First off, we have an exact video of Flynn doing his best to defend the party by dancing his butt off. <laughs> it looks silly in True. plate mail. True. All right. So uh, we wish to journey uh, out to the town of East Haven? Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, I imagine yeah. you're going to inform Imdra uh, on your way out that you'll be staying the night? Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and since you skipped me for the second time, DM, <laughs> Xander is staying his fat, happy ass right here. Okay. The last time we fought Durgar was in the middle of the day. And sure. the idea true. that invisible attackers who are in a land of night are going to wait until after hours to attack is bonkers. That's true. That is very true. And That's so true. if we stay the night to protect this place and then everyone leaves, that's when it's going to happen. Okay. So Harry, I will stay Harry here will stay and they can well, see then. they can see my dead body, the party, and go, hmm, we should have stayed. Well, <laughs> oh. No, like, oh. What a shame. <laughs> Harry, he was a better, Harry, he was a better dancer than you, Flynn. I imagine as, as Fariel's going through his pockets, a real loss, a terrible, terrible loss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna write a note for her. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll be staying as well. Okay, so I have Herrick and Xander staying behind. I'm not very yeah, stealthy. Xander, how do you fight? Or what do you what are you proficient in, Sam? Is 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 my question. Uh, with what specifically? With weapons? Yeah. Uh, uh, my my one martial weapon I'm proficient in is rapier. Can you use a, Can you use a shield? No, not in gain the benefits of my uh, blade song. Okay. So, uh, Flynn, roll perception check. Oh, okay. That's right get some click clacks on this table that's uh, an 11. okay with an 11 uh you notice that uh xander has a rather ornate pair of of blades on him very similar to your own um and so unlike what you would typically see on just an, a normal adventure of like oh here's a like here's a standard sort of you know here's the the garn you know short blade or you know this that and the other thing like these are custom pieces and so similar to your own now well, you can't make out too many of the details on them like you're like oh oh th this guy has spent time with these so so that I feel, I'll, I'll try to give him something to like you know for, for a little defense because i don't have like abilities to pass off to anybody i got stuff so <laughs> no no I mean, you guys are right following the tracks and and procuring some some travel for us tomorrow are, are actually great ideas but if if we have to split the party i think we should split it three ways oh god i can't believe i said that 
clip that for the stream um <laughs> and and leave someone here um and i'll gosh i guess what i'll do is i'll keep um tempest close by and if if something pops off i'll have her just race as quick as she can to find you guys and to 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 get you back here and we'll just try to hold the line until you guys get back we should also tell uh, the speaker to send her weird flying snake thing if anything pops off here. <sighs> we can do that, but... I know you will... I, I don't, don't trust them, but... Yeah. Are we expecting another attack on the speaker specifically? I am, because there's, there's been two attacks so far. The first one killed the speaker, and the second one only wounded her, wounded one and killed the assistant. So either they're 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 trying to cut off a line to put someone else in power or there is just random acts of violence here i don't think it's entirely coincidence that prudence has managed to survive each of these attacks i am i am forced to agree with that what if we just lay a trap Oh, I'm good at traps. <laughs> I have this image of Eric just like <laughs> looking out the I'm window ready. at me like, this yeah. is how you solve a mystery, kids. Someone say trap. I mean, what if the speaker were out and about in a vulnerable position? Do you have thoughts on that? I mean, uh, the speaker could help us, you know, Let's search these tracks to get to the bottom of this. What if someone who looked exactly like the speaker was out and about? Mm. Oh, I do have a disguise kit. I have something better. Ooh. <laughs> the deluxe disguise kit? Are you a doppelganger? <laughs> <laughs> For about an hour, I can be. Oh. Okay. Okay. I like this idea. Yeah. Where are we going? Just to check the footprints or? Check the footprints. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a couple things I would like to, I mean, if we happen to pass some shops, I might have a few items I'm looking to, uh, to buy. Uh, Xander. I'm looking for some spell components. Is there anything you would like me to be on the lookout for? Um, nothing I have initiated that, that I've been that I've had on a list. Um, but if you find something that 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 is kind of unique and affordable and you think might fit my fancy or or anyone here's fancy, I would say don't hesitate. Specifically, I'm looking for some fine ink to be able to add some of those spells that you found to my ritual book. Uh, I don't know uh, if you require any similar components. Uh, no, I, I I have some, uh, and uh, uh, mechanically, just Ryan and I just haven't gotten back to you on that, Nate. The Ryan has specific thoughts on how we can do that without without having okay. to go down the depth of stuff but uh yeah mm -hmm. uh, thank you I, I i do have i do have some um some fine ink uh, professor okay well then you could buy no, me a I'm nice ready. full set of plate mouth for a dwarf a stocky bulky dwarf like me i'll keep an eye out first for keep an eye out it's only 1500 gold o only It'd be less for a dwarf, right? It's smaller, <laughs> less metal. Yeah. No craftsmanship to go into it. It's still gonna keep like like you you think because like you like oh I want to buy a shorter sword. It costs less. Nope, still as much as the big swords. <laughs> we are a little bit wider. That is how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, it is. All right. Are you all about ready to head out? I am ready. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll go get the speaker and let her know you're ready. I'll send her out. I'm gonna go into the office with the speaker. Excellent, okay. So let me go ahead and jump back to that map. I thought we were all back out in the town. All right, so we are now, so as Fariel heads into the office of the speaker, what do you say to her? Hello, Fariel. Hi. Welcome. Did you receive your payment? 
Oh, yes, yes, thank you. Good. Um, so we've devised a bit of a plan to attempt to see if we can solve your Durgar problem, but it's going to require you to stay in this office and not leave. Well, Imdra, they both, Imdra and Prudence both kind of look at each other and Imdra's like, well, that sounds very reasonable. How is that going to work? You're going to stay here and then you are also going to go out into the town. And I'm gonna activate my disguise self spell. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> and uh, turn myself into the speaker. Brilliant. Okay. And so uh, for the disguise self spell, can you, uh, as you cast that, what do we see? Is is it a component that you are using or? No. You... So you actually, you don't see a whole lot because of everything that Feriel is wearing. But it's very true. It's very <laughs> true. Yeah, we kind of would see like the coat sort of contort a little bit, maybe get smaller or larger, depending upon. <laughs> but did, did it did it work? I, what I can't you, what tell. You, what yeah. you might see if you were looking very closely under her hood is that um, black ink begins to flow up from the back of her neck forward onto her face and cover her eyes and begin to like sparkle and shimmer there. And then that shimmering just expands slowly, slowly, slowly until her whole body just becomes the new form. Ooh. Well done. And, and as, as, as Imdra sort of sees you start to shimmer, she like, her hand goes to her sword and she's just like- It's all right. Calm, Captain. It's all right. Fariel, is it still you? It is, it is. How? Just, just a bit of magic, but I need you to stay here so that when I walk out that door, everyone thinks you're leaving. Of course, of course. Uh, don't worry, uh, Prudence will not leave the building. Prudence, you're not leaving not the building. Not even the room. I don't even want your guards to know. What should, I mean, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, of course. And I've got to move quickly. The spell doesn't last long. All right, so there is this guard who is currently in the corner of the room, who's just like. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Everyone that's in this room either. stays in this room. <laughs> Imdra, Imdra immediately walks up to him and goes, you're not going anywhere, <laughs> sit down. And so and he moves across the other side of the room and just sits on the floor. <laughs> For a lunch break. Yeah. But I have to pee. Bathroom, <laughs> bathroom closet right back. there. Yeah, and, <laughs> With any okay. luck, the door guard will attack you within the hour. Well, how, long, how long does the spell last? Just an hour, so I've got to go. All, all right. Uh, the gods Stay keep you safe. Here. Of course, of course. Does Harry and Ferriel yeah. come out? Nice no, weather uh, we're having. And, uh, you see, uh, <laughs> and you see, uh, as you step out from the door, you see Dax at the doorway. Speaker? I'm going to mentally send uh, Xander a message just telepathically that says make sure no one enters the speaker's chambers the speaker's office is, it, is that a two way mm, or is it a single I don't think so okay was it a message no oh, it's okay. just a Telepath I can just communicate telepathy. telepathically yeah it's only one yeah. way um, uh, actually I think it I think you can respond. If possibly. it's the same thing as the mouse, uh, the halfling life uh, one gets, is you can only one way. Well, uh, either way, I, in my mind, I will say back, you got it, whether Great. you actually get that or not. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, mind your post. I'm going to be showing our friends around town. Ooh, that's a good question, Fariel. Does disguise self disguise your voice? You're the DM, you tell me. Mm. <laughs> so, so it says that you can't change your body type, so you must adi ad adopt a form that is the same basic arrangement of limbs. So obviously you're a medium creature. And otherwise the extent of the illusion is up to you. So the changes wrought by the spell fail to hold up to physical uh, inspection. For example, if you use the spell to add a hat to your outfit, objects pass through the yeah, hat. Yeah. And so it's literally just like a glamour, like you appear to be the speaker, but you're not physically changed into the speaker. In terms of your voice, uh, uh, 
I, I would say I that- I would make it, my best effort to make myself yeah, sound that's, like her. That's, okay, I try good. not to talk as yeah, yeah. much so, as possible. Uh, I, I would say do your best to uh, not get into monologuing too much, but I think you can handle a couple of like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> basically I'm just trying to like sort of announce, I'm going out on the town. See you later. I mean, then, I could. I mean, like, I've browbeaten these guards enough. I can just be like, <laughs> speaker so, going out. Yeah. So as true. as as Ferial steps out of the office, as Speaker Prudence steps out of the office, you Dax, hello, hello, Speaker, and then she says, oh, "I'm going out in the town." Are you are you all right, Speaker? You sound a little. Is your voice? <clears throat> good? It's, been, it's been a rough night. Uh, so she's gonna take a little stroll around the town. Of all course. right. Does, do you require an escort? Should I come with you? I'm the escort. Oh, of course, of course. All right, and I just take Flynn's arm. <laughs> yes, yes. Love it. Love it. <laughs> All right, so yeah. I've got Flynn, Fariel, Zilvana, and the professor walking out. Yes. Excellent. All right, and so as the four of you step out on the town. Da -da 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 -da. So uh, while East Haven certainly offers a lot of services, uh, it doesn't actually have um, sort of uh, listed amongst its uh, its its uh, a town and the the buildings within it. There are no uh, there's no set blacksmith in the town or uh, a general goods. But I would say that there there has to be a general goods store. It is a town after all. So. While you wouldn't necessarily be able to get uh, armor or uh, you could be able to find maybe basic weapons, which I say, uh, Flynn, you would know very well that uh, Garn sort of supplies everyone uh, in the Ten Towns, being that he's in Bryn Shander and the best, uh, the best blacksmith in the uh, in the Dale. Right. So um, but I will say you'll be able to find a general goods store if you wish. Um, uh, and as you head to the north, do we want to stop off uh, to do some shopping first and foremost? I th uh, well, my vote is we do we 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 follow this uh, trail first for as long as this glamour will hold up um, yeah. to to, to put to put the speaker in as much of a note as possible. Excellent. Okay, great. <laughs> I love the idea of like Fariel doing like the speaker tour, like hello. <laughs> great day to be the speaker, of which I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, as you begin to uh, take the walk uh, about the town, Xander, are you allowing um, Tempest to sort of help guide them on the trail that she had discovered last mm -hmm. night? Or? I, I was, oh, gosh, I mean, that's a good idea, but I had said that I was gonna keep Tempest with Certain us building. so that- I tracked it a little ways as well. So that's Fariel's true. That's true. familiar that's true. with- So Fariel would be able to get you to about, so Fariel, with your uh, survival skills, you remember that the tracks kind of get up to here. And then as you sort of move from the town hall up to that point, go ahead and roll me a survival check. See if you can suss out any further tracks. Y'all are- and Y'all are kind of rocking the average right now, and I'm not mad <laughs> about it. But all right, do, do, does disguise self make you absorb the uh, the speaker's properties? I mean, <laughs> it, it would appear so. Yeah, because right, right. that's a four. Yeah, I got boots. Um, so with uh, so with that ten, like uh, the the it is like it's been a two, long time. Yeah, well, and it's also two in the afternoon at this point, and the town has been up and bustling, so any discernible tracks that you'd be like, oh yeah, these are definitely the one that they've been sort of pounded into mush. And so, I just kind of scout out all the buildings that are around here. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, like, you know, what they are, if they're, you know, homes or businesses or, you know, anything that might seem like somewhere somebody might. Yeah, yeah, so, or... so sort of the, the, the buildings along this way seem to all be relatively, um, so th these buildings here along the edge of, the coast there. They're all um, fisheries and uh, places wherein either the fish are handled and then the nets are repaired. And so it's, it's all about sort of the, the, the commerce of the lake there. And then as you move farther and farther in, uh, you're going to notice that the it gets a little more residential. So as you're kind of heading up this direction around this part of the town, uh, it, it's mostly businesses and uh, that the, the unmistakable aroma of just Cold and fish. Ah, uh, cold fish. I'm gonna lean in to Flynn and say, Flynn, the the last Duragar we ran into, they, they had a boat. I'm wondering if these 
might have made a break for these um, docks up ahead. Maybe you should ask around, see if anyone knows anything, and I'll just, you know, look at people and give them the eye while you ask the questions. Good idea. Uh, so I will like look for like some dock workers, you know, some some dudes loading some boxes into a truck or something. <laughs> All right, excellent. Go ahead and make me a perception check. Yeah, here we go again. Oh, a seventeen. Oh, excellent. Yeah, of course. Uh, so as as you, you look about, you immediately make eyes with uh, a, a gentleman who's standing there, and he seems to be almost like a supervisor as he's sort of like watching the men in the docks. Sort of. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm I'm doing some. Uh, well, I was wondering around the docks here. I was wondering, uh, have any of your 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 ships out here been taken by uh by someone, or have anyone been lost in the, in the past day? Any of the ships been taken? Yeah, like stolen. He kind of looks out on the dock as all of the ships currently docked are encapsulated in ice. I suppose if someone got a big enough pick, they could chisel one out if they wish. But as you have the look of someone new to town, <clears throat> Oh, I, I, uh, speaker, I, is this gentleman with you? I do apologize. Um, no, sir, no ships have been taken, uh, to my knowledge. I, uh, maintain this dock here and, uh, the, the two to the north. Hey, you. Well, you look like a fine upstanding any gentleman, so I'm gonna level with you a little bit. There has been some, uh, attacks in town and we're trying to find the culprits behind these attacks well have you tried offering up a sacrifice to the frost maiden uh no i have, have not I, I like to i like i like to get my hands in it if you know what i mean you know like a like like a, like a working man you know get get so so i i know what to do i see um i see so we we they've they've eluded us a little bit we've got one of them um, now, I'm under the assumption that they they may have fled to a ship. Oh, look, a dog. Uh, he, he always travels around the docks here. We call him Scraps. Oh, good Scraps. Uh, now, I, I, I'm, I'm just assuming that they may have uh, taken a ship, or are there any ships currently on dock that have been abandoned? I know if you, if you got fishermen here and they got a ship stuck in the ice, so they keep come by, like do maintenance on them, you know, check on them, make sure they're not being completely torn apart during the winter. If you've got one sitting around that hasn't been touched for a minute, uh, I think that might be worth looking at. If if you're looking for a, a ship that's been abandoned, quiet, Mishka. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I overheard you. Hello, hello. Um, if you're looking for a ship that's been abandoned, only one not been in use is the ferry, the East Haven ferry, that is. He is correct. The ferry is the only ship that's been abandoned. Its captain frequents the uh, moist fish, whatever it is. The wet trap. That's the one. Yeah. Yes, that's the one. Uh huh. Well, that's good to know. Uh, you keep up the fine work here managing this dock. You just wonderfully run. Uh, Mishka, uh, thank, thank you for that. And I want to, um, palm a, uh, a silver piece and shake Mishka's hand. Go ahead and do a sleight of hand. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 eight. <laughs> So I'll, just, you, I'll just throw it. I'll just throw it. I'll just flick it to him. Yeah, so, so you <laughs> right try to like palm it. You actually kind of drop it a little bit. And you try to catch it again. You're like, hey. That, that's that's accurate. Go. That's that's about right. Yeah. Misha catches it. And just like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're always happy to help, sir. Uh, uh, right. Back to work. Anything else, sir? Uh, no, that'll be all. Thank you. Oh, thank you, speaker. Mm-hmm. And he sort of nods and sort of turns back to his men, starts taking uh, notes, and uh, gives he gives a little bit of a stink eye to Mishka for speaking out of turn. But 
So should we check out this ferry? Yeah, I so, think so. Partners, you remember that- Is the ferry the boat that we were on originally? Ba-ba-boom. Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, fer the ferry was the boat that the Durgar had infested. Uh, infested. Taken up home and infested, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, yes, yeah, so you are well. You are very familiar with the East Haven Ferry. Um, all right. Uh, did he, we didn't ask the name of the captain, did we, of the ferry? No. No, you didn't. But Zolvana might know. Oh yeah, Miss hanging out over at the Moist Fish. <laughs> oh, moist Fish. So he's hanging out at the at the meat fish right now. Yeah, apparently. Matt, Madeline, you're muted. Sorry. <laughs> you were talking up a storm though. It was a great oh, I love storm. It. <laughs> so, I was like, what's so, the name? It's it's uh, yeah, um, Spard, Skythen. Mime. Yeah. Is Skythen? Is that what? Yeah, Skythen. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was trying to figure. I was like, Sky, Sky, yes, who, but... <laughs> uh, yes, 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 Skythen, who is yeah. the tiefling captain of the East Haven Ferry, who Not frequents killed. the wet trout, uh, moist, moist fish. fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know of him, Zilvana? Uh, just that he likes to drink a lot. He's a, uh, you know, he's a ferryman, doesn't, really do much besides sail and if he's drink. a ferryman in the off season how is he getting paid I don't know. I'm paid by the Durgar maybe mm. Zavanna roll me a perception check okay okay <laughs> <laughs> oh if I remember how to do that that's cool it's cool every every time is like new it's like oh how did I do this again all right <laughs> That's what I love about these heavy RP sessions. All right. Okay, with the 16, you remember distinctly that. Uh, so while Scython has been sort of uh, laid off, as it were, uh, from the ferry working, um, he, he certainly was spending money like he uh, like he had it to burn. Uh, that being said, thing, it's not like things are terribly um, expensive around the Dales. Um, but he was also considered to be sort of the font of knowledge of what's happening in the towns or out and around the towns. And he has plenty of stories to tell. Most of them could be true. Could be. So. Do you relay that to your party? I do. What he said. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Dig it. Might be mm. worth taking a visit to the wet trout later. I don't think the speaker would be seen there, but perhaps if you want to take care of some of your shopping, I'll just try to be seen. Excellent. That's good. I I don't think we should split up further. No, I meant as a group. We'll just go shopping and I'll just hang out. If you all mill about uh, around shops. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick little bout of shopping. All right, friends, what are we looking to pick up? Uh, Flynn wants to find um, a whip and two hand axes, which I imagine would be like good working tools here. Mm -hmm. And or if a uh, net maker could like fashion a whip from one of his uh, recordings. You know what? I'll, I, I will give you that. I will give you both uh, hand axes and a whip. Certainly would be tools that could be found around the city. Um, so uh, hand axes are going to go for five gold a piece. And then a whip, which freaking love, uh, is two gold. So that'll Okay. Be... So you can find the whip, and the, uh, it's 12 gold there. Uh, in terms of uh, spell book components, you yes. can get ink, you could get parchment, you could get like quills, but in terms of magic components, those are going to be very difficult to find, especially uh, in and among the towns. Like if you, yes. so uh, I, mm, I would okay. say not available here. Okay, I will say that I pick up enough, a reasonable amount of ink and parchment to copy spells into my spell book, and then you and Buddy and I can talk later about how much that actually is. 
Hey, oh yeah, excellent, excellent. We'll uh, we'll chat about what I'm considering for uh, your. We're trying to <laughs> uh, basically trying to spellbook on a budget. Yeah, that's how it works. But. I think your um, where your also, Zoom crashed. It might have changed your mic, Ryan. Oh, 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 it, oh. did it? Does it anyone else? Thank you. I hear him just fine. Uh, maybe uh, it seems to me like the roll twenty audio got louder. Yeah, it's like everything changed. It's quite weird. How bizarre. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm still on the uh, snowball. Okay, ball. that's cool. No, no, good, good. Yeah. Okay, all right, good, 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 good. Uh, right. The only other magical component that I need is I actually need powdered silver to do that ceremony. And so if I if there is any powdered silver to be had, I will pick some up. Hmm. While there isn't any powdered silver to be had, I'm pretty sure you could find silver and then proceed to just yeah. sit there and whittle away at it. Yeah, yeah. Just start to scrub it away. So uh, uh, ink is 10 gold for an ounce and uh, a, a pen is like two copper. And then parchment for a sheet is going to be a silver piece. Okay. So we we'll, shouldn't uh, need parchment if it's going in your book, though. That's also true. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, I'll I'll get ink and stuff, and we'll, we'll talk about how much that is later. Excellent. Um, it's just pointing out that you don't sleep, so you actually have plenty of time to process. Oh yeah, I can powder. I can literally sp stay up yeah. all night copying. Spells and I'll say for no, no, we, I mean making powder, making powdered silver for a oh, silver yeah. amulet. You can go ahead and uh, there'll be five gold to get a silver amulet. Okay. All right. So that should I be mean, about. I could just like, I've got my own silver as well. That's true. It's like silver coins, yeah. 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 You could. You could also do that. All right. All right. So either way, I pick up enough silver and <laughs> and ink to do what I need to do. Uh, silver and ink, the new album dropping from Reginald. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, friends, uh, anything else we want to look to purchase? I'm just standing in the street wherever Would, we go. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, no, I love, no, no, I love it. Amy, like, like, my, my image is just, you're like. Are things like cheaper here or is it just cheap because it's, you know, cross made in season? So, uh, <laughs> so the, the prices that I'm pulling up are sort of the standard prices. Um, and then I'm sort of adjusting them a little bit here and there, depending upon the rarity of them. Yeah. But. Um, how much would like another rapier be? Ah, well, in order to get a rapier, you'd have to go to Bryn Shander. Ah. But uh, rapiers typically go for about 25 gold. Okay. But, I'll wait for that. Yeah. So, something to something to keep your eye on. You know. All right. Anything else? Or if Xander dies back at the town hall, you can I mean, just, you know. <laughs> then it's, <laughs> then it's, <Baby. laughs> then it's free. <laughs> and the cost Womp. is only grief. All right, so. Um, yeah, let's just hope that my spirit doesn't inhabit that sword when I die. <laughs> well, you know for a fact it is. Like, <laughs> like shh, don't tell him, don't tell him. Now it that would is. be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, friends, uh, any other shopping we wish to do? Nope. No. Lovely then. Let's go ahead and uh, so the spell has worn off, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to the town hall. Xander, Herrick, uh, anything you wish to? Uh, so any any plans you list? I imagine Herrick, you've already set your trap again downstairs. Yeah, I was gonna say I set my trap again. Man. Of course you do, bastard. Um. <laughs> yeah. So as, as the group was was mustering to leave. Um, I would have gone to the speaker's office and you know, knocked on the door and, and looked in and having just seen the speaker, knowing that it's very I'll leave, I will look at the speaker and nod and I will ask the captain if she could uh, join Herrick and I in the hallway for a moment. Oh, certainly. Wouldn't want to berate me in front of the speaker now, would you? Him just steps yep. out into the hallway. <laughs> oh, no, if you have anything oh, else you'd no. like to say to me, I would prefer to not have my soldiers nearby. No, I it, it, apologies for for earlier, Captain. I just it, you uh, I, I know that, that you have you seem to have a history with 
with magic users and it 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 as a magic user myself it it i think i maybe take it more personally than you necessarily mean it um and while yes you are correct i do have a history you have proven yourself more than capable and your critiques though perhaps a bit harsh were not unfounded i do the best i can with the men that i am given with the soldiers that i am given but I thank you for your assistance, and I'm grateful that you stayed. Um, th thank you for that. Um, might I suggest a couple of things? Uh, just in the interim, maybe we keep the front doors barred and the upstairs doors barred and direct town business to the side door here, since it is a smaller point of egress, even though it's closer to the speaker's office when she gets back. It's a, it's an easier choke point to hold. I would I would much rather, in fact, uh, bar the side door by the speaker's office, and then m maybe only have uh, perhaps double the guards at the front door. That way, that yeah, that that actually could be a that could be a good option as well. Because if people know that it's the speaker's office, they're going to be more than inclined to sort of start knocking at it. And if we're trying to, true, okay, that's speaker. that's true. That I, I I had not thought of that. Um, so, so maybe maybe we can keep one of the doors up front barred, double the guard, and limit the access. Um, Absolutely. Uh, also, Cyril is in the chair room. We we weren't sure what to do with oh. with his remains, uh, but that probably should be taken care of before the speaker gets back and 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 goes into the chair room. Um, and then I don't know if you've thought about how to get rid of the weirdo black stone pieces without anyone touching it or finding it um i haven't oh thank you that's um i did not know about cyril i will see to it that that is that he is taken care of all right um meanwhile and, and yeah and just just remember dm we put him in there in a, in a nice repose we didn't oh, like just yeah, toss yeah, him yeah. in on the chairs or anything so <laughs> we're not monsters all right uh, okay, so um, uh, Imdra is going to go ahead and uh, she'll sort of nod to both you mm -hmm. and also to Herrick, and then she'll uh, motion for one of the guards over, and then when Dax tries to walk up, she'll be like, no, no. And then Dax will stay by the door, and she'll start to take care of Cyril's body. All right. I would say at this point, my wandering town folk, um, I, I'd say the hour has passed, which means... Uh, Fariel, you begin to, you revert back to Fariel. I would obviously look for like an alley or somewhere to like duck into, Absolutely. you know, not yeah. just be like, hey guys, in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> the speaker is really a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> now you speaker, now you don't. All right. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I, love I just it. want that to be the speaker's phrase. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, do you head to the wet trout? Uh, yes. The moist fish. Yes, yes. All right. Yes. If if we're going in here, we better be on our guard. Are we what do you think the axes are for? I mean, yeah, sure. Eric, if they come back drunk, that's that's gonna be somebody's <laughs> ass. I'm just letting you know right now. If they come back drunk, that's somebody's ass. Awesome. Should so, we have a drink then? <laughs> <laughs> at least one. Yeah. There's a drinking game we used to play at the barracks called Drink This. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I've never heard of it. How does that work? Oh, oh God! Don't ask. <laughs> How do you win? No, no one wins. Everyone loses. <laughs> Everyone loses there that are no, thing. There are no winners in drink this. All right. All right, friends. So the wet trap is located near the docks and is the lo the largest and the loudest tavern in East Haven and is known for its ribald atmosphere and rumor mongering. There's a great chimney that sits at the, at the building center and it has hearths on each side to just sort of warm the common rooms. And the tavern's current owner and proprietor is Naimita Meiskin. She's a, a chaotic, neutral, dragonborn. Uh, just, she's 
like frosty white, and anyone who walks in immediately sees the uh, the pendant of the uh, of the frost maiden on her uh, on her necklace. All right. All right. So who do we talk to first? Um, Lavana, do you see the, the captain? I was just about to ask. Do I do I see Skythen? You most certainly do see Skythen. Uh, Skythen is uh, over in the corner. He's a uh, the uh, as signified by his very as his tricorner hat and his uh, his uh, tiefling uh, red tiefling eyes. Uh, he is at least well. It is three in the afternoon, and he's at least a good like four cups in at this point. It seems like he's just <laughs> always underwater a little bit, um, but he's. Mm-hmm. Very talkative, uh, see, even though he seems to just be sort of, hello, how's it going? Oh, it's lovely to see you all. I love this place. So moist. <laughs> uh, all so, right. Uh, walk over to Skythen. Hey, Skythen! What's my friend? My f- um Zalvana. Yes, <laughs> Zalvana. So good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. You're, you're looking lovely. Oh, I, just, I love your you. hair. Thanks. You so know, bright conditioner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> what have you? What? Uh, what do you need to know? What do you want from me? I uh, look over to the professor and I'm like, do you have any questions? Hello? Is this thing on? Anyone have any? What? Professor's just oh. like dumbfounded. <laughs> oh, Zalvana, you can't be. Oh. <laughs> oh, people? I want to talk. I want to have conversations. Tell me, uh, what's going on? What's new? Oh, hmm. you know, we're just hanging out, looking around the town, just trying to see if there's any, you know, random Durgar or anything just- like that. Interesting. Who's your friend? And he immediately is like eyeballing Fario. Oh, she's just my friend. She's yeah. a rogue. She's cool. Yeah, she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't look like she's from around here. Well, none of us are. Of course, of course. <laughs> right? We're just traveling through. <laughs> Interesting. But um, yes. What can I help you with? I don't know what to ask. <laughs> ask. Questions, my dear. Questions. That's what everyone wants to know. <laughs> sure enough, as soon as like he starts to like he starts to get into his little bantering giggle, you hear. If you're not paying, you're not staying. Well, then get me a drink. I will say, looking at you is none other than Naimita Myskin. <laughs> Ah, oh, you again. Well, excellent. What'll it be? Mmm, cider? Cider. All right, that's your call. And she walked back over to the bar. What about the rest of you? Whiskey. Three shots. Nothing, thank you. All right. Doesn't look, I wouldn't recommend anything for you either. It looks like a stiff breeze could knock you over, old man. But I respect someone who goes for whiskey. Three whiskeys and a cider coming up. She walks back behind the bar and gets your drinks. Whew, that was close. <laughs> she gets a bit huffy. So, uh, what are you? Questions, questions, questions. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, aren't you a bard? I am. Right, I'm right. also bad at this game. I heard you speak of <laughs> Durgar. There's no yeah? such thing. <laughs> I Yes, I did speak of Durgar. Any what? new news? New news? I'll see. New news. Uh, well, you remember that what I told you about uh, Care de Naval, right? Yes, of course. You no, know, of course, of course. So they're they're still dealing with thieves in the night, uh, stealing things here and there. Mm. Uh, so, uh, um, roll the d10. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. How good are you at dealing with giants? I think okay. 
<laughs> she thinks okay. I like her. And then sure enough, Meter comes over, sets the drinks down. Anything else? No, that's all for right now. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. And I, I give one to Feriel and I give one to the professor. Feriel downs hers immediately. I will just hold it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Back at town hall, Xander slowly turns to look at Harry. <laughs> Scython, Scython, Scython's actually going to reach over and take your whiskey shot, Professor, and down it. Oh, I was oh, going to come back for that I one. Do that. <laughs> oh, that is good whiskey. Thank you, friend. All right. So, uh, good mead. Have you heard of it? Good, good mead? mead? Yes, good mead. Um. No, I mean, I've town. had some bad mead in the day, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a town not far from here. Oh, I like you. I like you. There's something very dark and mysterious underneath that cowl of yours. All right. Uh, yes, but good mead. Uh, the town was recent. The, the speaker was recently killed by a giant. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rumor is that he even stole the town's mead shipment. And so without it... <laughs> Good mead is most certainly no mead. No mead, exactly. Oh, I like you. I like you. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so there. There's a, there's a little, little tidbit for you to nibble on. Oh. Another speaker down. How was it done? What was that? How was how was how was it done? Done by a giant man. A giant came in and did it. He just <laughs> just <laughs> walked into town. Well, I mean, I imagine he didn't walk into town. I, I don't, look, look, I don't know the details. I could weave the tale for you if you like. I imagine ooh, me being a giant, I'd probably just steal the shipment while it's on the road. No, the speaker was targeted. Speaker was targeted? Oh, yeah. No, this one believes there's a whole conspiracy going on around here. Speaker's oh, getting killed left and your right. Mouth you shut clean. your mouth. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the 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 frost maiden herself is going to come down and try to weave her little web on you, and then all of a sudden, like you hear this crack as Naimita like slams her fist down in the bar. It's like I won't hear another word said against the maid. So I think kind of just sinks in his chair a little bit. She's a bit testy. I said not another word. When was the last time you were on your ship, Captain? The ferry? Mm-hmm. Oh. Feels like, God, has it been a year now? Uh, so when the uh, when this damn rhyme first started, like the ice wasn't so bad, but eventually it, it froze over and uh, I couldn't get it out. It took a took a year for it to sort of seal in, and then I was able to chip it out at first, but it just didn't seem worth the effort as uh, this ice built up more and more and more. And now, gods, I don't think I've set foot on that thing in six months. Everyone else huh? in the harbor seems to be still maintaining their ships. Any reason you decided to just abandon yours? It's a ferry. Like, I can... It uh, doesn't take much to repair it. And what? It just sealed up a nice, so it should be fine. Yeah. I imagine with the the freeze, you're out of work. What have you been doing? Well, um, sometimes people pay me for information... Hmm? Where do you get your information? Here and there. Little birds and various and sundry people. I mean, this is a rather large place. And as you've noticed, I am a very amicable fellow. Indeed you are. Hmm. Any interesting information for sale? It depends. What, um... What information are you looking for, and just how badly do you want it? Anything you know about the Durgar? Ooh, Durgar. That is a very popular topic these days. 
but alas, I, I, I need someone to pay for my drinks, and I, I just... I've given you a I, drink. I, 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 I look over to the uh, to, to the bar, and I do two more for a uh, uh, signal. Ah, uh, excellent. Good, good. See, I knew. I knew that you were good people to have. Well, rumor has it, uh, there were Durgar here in this town. I'm going to need a lot more than that. Oh, well, I'm going to need uh, uh, some just so dry. So considering we found them on your ferry, we know very well that you're aware of the Durgar in this town. Oh, so so you are the fine group of adventurers that went ahead and uh, smashed up my ferry. How Cut would the you crap, know you said Captain. you hadn't been there? It's still floating. Oh. Oh, rumors, rumors, and uh, yes, still floating in ice, but floating nonetheless. Mm. Well, I guess I should say thank you for ridding me of my infestation. Well, you could have been a little kinder to my quarters. Since you are in our debt, then, why don't you go ahead and tell oh, us what you know? I mean, well, no, try to run through his wall. Yeah, rest assured, the blood will need cleaning up. And so I think we're about even in terms of uh, the, the payback there. But um, the Durgar, well, wow. It's a certain fellow, or name keeps being passed around from people here and there. Uh, Sunblight? Yeah. We've heard of Sunblight. The Sunblight that's going to obliterate all of Ten Towns, that Sunblight? That's the one, that's the one. Yes, he apparently has big, big plans for everybody. Now, that's of course hearsay from all the unsavory folk walking through here. I personally wouldn't believe it. I mean, honestly, who could do worse than, <clears throat> than uh, you, you know who in terms of really screwing over 10 towns? Wait, you know, you know who? I looked at Fairy Elf, I'm like, you know who? <clears throat> well, he means the Frost Maiden. He just doesn't ah. want to piss off the boss. Hey, God. I don't want to hear another mention of the Frost Maiden. And I want my shots. Right. And so she drops them down. Your, your hearing is phenomenal. Yes. Well, uh, she sort of walks away from the table as she drops that down and then walks well, away again. Captain, you have yet to tell us anything that we didn't already know. I told you about the giant, didn't I? I didn't ask about a giant. But did you didn't I? know about a giant, did you? Huh? Do I care about a giant? No, I asked about the Durgar. Well, then clearly you have a giant problem. Uh, actually, I don't have a giant problem. That's at fair. All. That's fair. <laughs> Look, if you're looking for the Durgar, I would head north and then keep heading north until you get about as high as you can go. So you're useless. I'm going to reach over and take one of the whiskeys that Flynn bought <laughs> and just drink it in front oh, of him. That hurts. Right Your information here. hurts. Well then, feel free to seek out information elsewhere. I do what I can to make a dishonest living. And with that, he'll kind of just sort of turn his chair from you and sort of, oh, you, zipper, yes, yes, you. Sort of walk off. Mm. Are we done here? Yeah. Friends you keep, Zolivana. I didn't say he was a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was fun. I mean, so, you are fun. So what? So, Durgar to the north. We knew that. Well, what's this sun? So sun? What's the sunblight guy? Apparently, apparently he's a person. Yeah. yeah. So oh. someone is planning to destroy all of Ten Towns. Not something. You know, if it's one guy, he could, you know, dole out different assignments to take out different speakers. That is the what? one useful bit of information that he did say, is that another speaker has been killed. 
in good mead. Huh. Weird. All right, excellent. I mean, it, it's the next town over. The same way we were planning on going anyway? No. No. Back the way we came? Sort of, yeah. To the, yeah. Back to the west. Yeah, yeah. good mead is to the southwest. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, friends. Do you hang out in the wet trout? Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stay here all night. Yeah. I'll uh, meet you back at the town I'll hall. <laughs> We're gonna shut this moist fish down. Oh, yeah. Okay. I will. I will go back up to the um to the bar. And be like, can I get the rest of the bottle we've been taking our shots out of? <laughs> of course. It'll be ten gold. Uh, here's fifteen. Thanks for the drinks. Takes the gold, pockets it. Come back anytime. <laughs> and you've realized you just directly funded our enemies. Everyone's our enemies. Let's go. <laughs> and I still got to get a drink. He, so he's not, he not wrong. <laughs> I chug the rest of my cider. <laughs> Love, it. Love it. All right. So you make your way back to the town hall. Yeah. Anything? Yes. Scott, anything between here and there, my friends? No, I mean, no, not unless I want to light it on fire as we leave. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate this place so much, Professor? So angry. Uh, this like, whole town just needs is deserves whatever is coming. <laughs> uh, like, the, like the professor's finally reached his like you know, grumpy old man stance. He's just like, ah, oh yeah, off my lawn. Yeah, he's yeah. not at his meds, is he? Sit in the end. Get yeah. off my snowdrift. Love it. Nah. He's not at his meds. All right, friends. So, uh, I want I want Tempest to tell me if any of them are staggering when they're coming back up. So, with the very little amount of alcohol that was actually kind of consumed in that time, like, no, no, I, I would say that they, they, they all managed to keep a pretty even keel. Though, uh, as they walk back in, uh, Xander, go ahead and roll a perception check. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, with the fourteen, you definitely like you get a whiff of whiskey coming off of somebody, and you're like, as they as they kind of walk, and you're like, wait a minute, oh, what are you sniffing? Uh, oh, smells oh, smells whiskey. like whiskey. It smells like it's gonna have to be somebody's ass since y'all been out drinking all morning. While here, I, I, I pull out the bottle uh, in front of Xander. Have ah. been. Well, you know, you can't stay mad all day, so. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and always has a plan. <laughs> all right. Uh, so any 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 news, any any tracks or any information? Uh, another speaker has been killed, this time in Goodmead. Uh, that brings the count I... up to two confirmed dead, one missing, if I'm not mistaken. Unless this I'm missing was, something. This one was killed differently, though. It was killed by a giant. By a giant, yes. Um, East, Haven, East Haven was killed by a Durgar. Goodmead was killed by a giant. And then Caradonavals is just missing. He's missing, yeah. yes. Or she, he or she, I don't know. Yes, remember the, which. the speaker. Um, let's, uh, let's knock on the, the Prudence's door. Is, is, are Indra and Prudence in there? DM. Oh, uh, you're talking about the. Oh, yeah, Prudence's door. Yes, the speaker's door. Are, are they are they both in there? They are both in there. Because remember, they said, "Do not leave." Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh pardon us. Can uh, may we uh have a moment? The, of course. Did did it work? Did you? Were you attacked? Is everything? We'll, we'll usher everyone in. Sorry, so um, no, no, uh, no attacks, but they they did hear word of another speaker being uh, this time in Goodmead, apparently. Yes. Killed? Killed. Was it the Durgar? Or, or, or... A giant this time. A giant? It seems giant. whoever is targeting speakers is uh, has a well, a wide cast net of contacts. Look, Imdra and Prudence kind of look at each other and go, well, now, 
Professor, I, I appreciate your caution, but people get killed by giants more often than not. Uh, How many speakers have you lost to giants in the past year? I mean, he has a point. The speaker in good need, the speaker of East Haven, and then the speaker for Kier Dunneval is missing. So. And there's been several attempts on your life. Yes. Speaker Prudence. It's, it seems, I mean, I don't want to go too far, but he's not wrong. It seems like maybe a coordinated effort. If not, it's the biggest damn coincidence that I've seen maybe ever. Right. Once um, is bad luck, twice is a coincidence. Three times, three times is a pattern. Um, it, what, any, anything else from your, from your information gatherings? No, that was it. Just more talk of the sun blight. So it's apparently a person, not a plague upon the land. The well, that's good. And and then Imdra's like the map. Yeah. The map. Excellent. All right. Well, friends, since you agreed to stay the night, I think we should make a plan. Coffee. (laughs) Coffee is always part of the plan, Herrick. Can we all agree that no matter what, that this is the last night that we can afford to stay? Of course, of course, I understand. I, I, I would not dream of holding you more than this. I mean, if, if it is a coordinated effort, we we need to get, I think, information on it to try to stem the tide of this, because if someone were to take over half of the 10 towns, I don't know how long the other half could last. Speaker Prudence, who would be, uh placed as speaker in the event of your demise? Well, I, I... I suppose it would be Imdra. But... Uh, uh, who, usually, I, haven't, I haven't picked a, a second. Uh, I suppose Cyril was the closest. And are, are speakers typically appointed by their predecessors or are they selected by the townsfolk? Uh, usually voted in by the people, but in in the interim, if, if a speaker were to die and uh, elections would need to be held and we just, we haven't held them as of yet. Yes. My question would be who would be, who is likely to be selected by the townspeople? Is there anyone in town that has tried to make themselves a friend of the people or has been trying to garner favor or someone who had a problem with the former speaker whose name I don't remember Danith Whalen Danith. Speaker Whalen and anyone who was garnering uh, goodwill with the people who may have been at odds with Speaker Whalen um. Uh, well, I mean, some people, they didn't really agree with his choice of the festival. Uh, some, especially uh, uh, Naimita, she she was very outspoken about the fact that he shouldn't be so baseless as to affront the Frost Maiden, I think was, uh, was her phrasing. Though I, there were a couple more expletives. In, oh, there, were, there most definitely were a couple more expletives in there. Um... My skin is the most outspoken, uh, but and while she does hold sway among a certain group of people in town, she's more than happy to run her bar and her mouth. Uh, what about you? What's your stance as far as uh, praise to the ice maiden goes? Well, I... I think we know. I don't know. No fan of the Frost Maiden, if that's what you're asking, but I wouldn't speak that too loudly, as clearly some people have a problem with it. Um, and I, uh, Prudence herself, well, she's she has a desire to heal this land, I'm sure. Right, Prudence? Uh, yes, uh, of course. I, I, I want to help. Uh, I wonder if it would be better for both of you, since you're both at at the the precipice of, of, of danger here, maybe we make some room for for you on the third floor, and maybe 
you stay here if there is an assault you know that they have to get through the guards and get through us and get through three floors to get to you but if something were to happen to you there'd be no way to help you i was thinking and, rather than have her at a different location i think it'd be best if if i am here and and we do what we can to defend the town hall. And hopefully nothing, nothing will come of it. Um, the, in the eventuality, I mean, we are, we are going to have to move on. So, Captain, you should be thinking about whether you want to keep the Durgar prisoner or if you want us to take him away from here and maybe they will follow us or if you want us to be less delicate with the situation. Yes. You have the night before us and then decisions to be made. But I think for this evening, we'll plan on everyone staying here, doing the best we can to defend the dungeon with the majority of my guards on the ground floor. And then uh, I and a small group of guards will be up on the third floor with Prudence. And then I, I, I leave it to your best judgment as to where to place yourselves. Perhaps you may maintain vigilance on the second floor? I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll probably freelance about all the spaces. That's what we did last night, so. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let's let's go look at those upper doors and see if we can make those a hundo secure and see what other securing we can do. Absolutely. All right. So uh, as you go ahead and make the tour of the building, you manage to secure the so the the side barn doors that left out uh, that run that um, come out from the second floor. So those are now secured. Both of them locked and fastened on the top and bottom. Uh, is there a way to bar those doors as well? Uh, there. Is, so unlike the front doors, which has sort of the bar that you can drop across them, that one doesn't have it. It's got basically two like push latches on the top and bottom that allow it to secure into the floor and into the ceiling. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you could, of course, take like if, if you guys have like hammer and nails and some boards lying around. You yeah, Harrick's yeah. got loads of stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Reach into the TARDIS it's, it's backpack. Too, it's too easy to pick a lock. I wouldn't want to trust just a, a normal lock. Well, the they're on the inside, mind you, but... I'll get to work on boarding up the doors. All right, all right. so Herrick's going to go ahead and uh, board up the barn door. The main door to the, um, to the, the town hall has a, a, a drop that, uh, a block that you can drop across it, which will secure it. Uh, and then that leaves only the side door, which of course is locked with the key. You're right. Well, we want to let him in here, don't we? And say, I think possibly leave just the lock on the side door and kind of put all of us in the courtyard area, perhaps. Hmm. And maybe we do the sand Herrick's sand trick again in the that hallway. Yes, uh, that wasn't my trick. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that Flynn's trick? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to give you credit, Herrick. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm a little concerned that we're attempting to to guard the basement and the third floor at the same time. I I can't decide which is a higher priority target the Durgar or the speaker. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess part of me thinks that if if Durgar break in, they're probably heading downstairs. If anyone else breaks in, they're probably heading upstairs. The courtyard is accessible from the second floor, right? If you jump down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm saying keep... Uh, keep uh, melee people on the ground here. Anyone with the range attack up on the up on the 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 dais around the around the courtyard, right? Um, it's still a long way around to get to the third floor, because even if you are by, next to this crane, you have to go all the way out and around toward like the front door, and then through all these other rooms to get to the staircase that leads up to the library. 
Uh, I mean, because it, this is the worst designed building yeah. ever. Aha, yeah. I thought. Can no. it, it, front, the front entrance, this area here. Yeah, where we first come in. First entrance we come in. You see I would say I mean? the best place to position yourselves would be on the first floor. That way, if anything were to happen in the dungeon or uh, on the third floor, I, I will I will protect Prudence with my life, and I will have a, a few guards with me as well. Um, so if you're on the second floor, or and then my guards will be on the first, that way and we have, of course, the captain in the, in the dungeon as well. We, we shouldn't be able to cover this. I think we can do this. Where, where are I, I think yeah. we have to leave protection of the speaker up to Imdra and her guards and focus our attention on the dungeons. That's my mic working. Wise. That's my mic working. It is. Yeah. Yes. Um, this entrance here, DM. Yes. Is... Can people climb up to the next level there? So this 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 right here that you're that you're uh, that you're poking mm -hmm. at, uh, that is actually a stairwell that goes up on both sides. So you have one, two, three stairs up, and this will actually lead to a walkway. I'm sorry, there. it's got the lead. The these stairs right here lead up to this walkway, which then go to these two steps on the second level. So this door here on the second level, and this door here on the second level. Right. So this this stairwell here in front of the main doors gets you up to the second level. Okay. Is that clear as mud? Yeah. All right, lovely. All right, friends. So, as we sort of uh, begin to plan for the evening, is there anything else we wish to do as we kind of move into the evening hours? I have something. Yes, Ferio. Um, I actually want to slip out back into town. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you said I want to flip out. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Whiskey. I love it. Okay. So. Whiskey makes me crazy. Ah. <laughs> whiskey makes me friggin' burst. All right. <laughs> oh. I'm an angry drunk. All right. All right. So, are you looking to do this unseen? I don't want to draw a lot of attention so that everybody's like asking me what's going on, but I'm not trying to be like super, super sneaky. Oh, cool. Does that make sense? Like middle yeah. of the road, like. Roll me like a roll me a stealth roll, just. Yeah, that is middle of the road right there. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, that's yeah, an so, eleven. Yeah, so uh, so anybody with a <laughs> with a with a slightly above average uh, perception will kind of notice that Fairyel just sort of like hangs back a little bit, and as she hangs back, she's in like, dear. <laughs> All right. Nothing. nothing like sneaky about it but the professor totally misses it i've got a <laughs> Absolutely. pass, pass yeah. a perception of 10 so and no as, you're as fariel uh dips out to go ahead and take another jaunt around the town perhaps uh we're gonna go ahead and take our 10 minute break and then friends we'll be back with hopefully the defense of the town hall or it or could just shoot to morning and we get paid and move. I mean, or, yeah, or another go. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when we last left our intrepid adventurers in the East Haven Town Hall, they were settling in for the second night. And if the professor has his way, the final night that they spend in East Haven. <laughs> On the third floor will be the speaker, Prudence, with Imdra and a few guards to try to protect her from uh, any uh, further assassination attempts. Meanwhile, on the second floor, various guards and possibly a few party members as well. And in the dungeon, the Durgar waits, hopefully to either be rescued or maybe not by his friends. And as we settle in for the evening, our Drarog has slipped out for the evening. Fariel, we go to you. Not for the evening, just for a quick errand. Oh, for the quick errand. Yes, yes. of course. She's going to get Wait. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to need a, a little bit of assistance with this DM. So what I want to do is find someone, if I have some connections maybe, who can get word to my friend in Bryn Shander. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Whether that's like I can write a little coded message and send it off or whatever. 
So you know that your friend uh, typically deals in avian messages, mm-hmm. and so if you uh, if you were to maybe uh, keep your roll, roll a perception check, see if you can't uh, discover uh, any sort of birds or a rookery or maybe of the sort. Damn, eight. Oofda. Okay, uh, with an eight, uh, while while you see, you know, there's there's birds flying around, but none of them seem domesticated in any sort of way, and there doesn't seem to be a rookery nearby, so you can't send a message out per se. Um, though, uh, if you wanted to, you being you being the intelligent creature that you are, uh, you could probably go to the stables and see if there was somebody uh, heading back to Bryn Shander, and maybe yeah, pass, okay. pass I'll along. try that. Brilliant. Okay. Excellent. So you, you got any birds that sound like this? Nay. <laughs> hey. um, so God, uh, hate you. <laughs> so as you uh, head to the stables, you write off a note. Yes, coded. Uh-huh. Dig it, dig it. Um, and basically, I just want to kind of fill in on um, some of the information that I've gathered about these speakers and the Jaragar and kind of what's going on okay. and um, brief instructions for where I think we're headed, Care Deneval, um, to see if I can get any word back, if there's any information floating around Bryn Chander. Okay, okay, so you want to send a note off to her and then uh, are you going to leave instructions as to where she can get up, so, so that to pass that along to maybe Care Deneval or Care Koenig? Yeah, yeah. That okay. that my next destinations are those places. So excellent. excellent. Okay, brilliant. I love that. So something along the lines of uh, really hard to see the enemies in front of us. Uh, thinking about going north. Don't really have a care in the world. Um, sounds sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something about um, having a giant problem. Ah, say. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Love that. All right. Uh, so you managed to find a writer and hand him his note. And uh, who do you tell him to look out for? What the f- the temple, the sun, sun. Uh, uh, Fairyel knows it. I just can't remember it. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So the house of the morning lord. There you go. Yeah. Um, the beggar woman in front of the house of the morning yeah, lord. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, 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 of course. Of course. Um, uh, yeah. We'll do. We'll do. I mean, I'll sort give of... him five gold. Oh, oh. Of course. And tell him three are for his trouble, two are for the beggar woman. Of course. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll see it delivered. Uh, I'm, I'm actually heading out the, this evening, so. Take care on the road, it's dangerous out there. Of course. God's watch over you. You as well. Yeah, and, and so he, he gets his horse ready, and uh, do you wait to see him off, or do you head back to the town hall? Um, I'll make sure that he hits the road. If yeah. it seems like he's headed out, if it seems like it's gonna take forever, I kinda wanna get back. Yeah, I know he, he gets up on his uh, axe beak, which, no. And, uh, it... Tell Paul we said hello. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, away the axe beak goes. Yeah, love it. I will make my way back to the town hall. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. All right. I do have something that Herrick would like to do. Very well, then. So as Fairyel makes her way back, Herrick, you are in the town hall. He heads down into the dungeons. If anyone is following him, then then fine. They'll tell him to mind the trap. All right. Um, he is going to like just inconspicuously sort of like walking around, going into each cell apart from the, the one of the Dagas in, get his pick out and knocking on the walls and having a listen. Because knowing Dag- uh, Dago, they're like underground creatures that like burrowing thinking about it so he's gonna have a listen and see if there's any sort of yeah yeah 
No, totally. Okay, great, great. So, uh, so T- you're Lee. walking around. Uh, you checking all the cells? Yeah, <clears throat> and all the walls all right. around and like the floor. Uh, oh, uh, roll your stone cunning. Stone cunning, which is yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think that's a that's an intelligence it's, check. I think it's, it's, it's proficiency. It's, it's it's proficiency times two, which is four. Yeah. Um. Is it history? It's kind of a rocky start to this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Has anybody well, we else got the same... Exciting yeah. things related for later. But... Nate, <laughs> Nate, you know that we were messing around with like D&D Beyond the other day, like when the, the kids were playing. Ever since then, I've now got to reload all of my <laughs> pages. So let me just quickly do that every time I go in. Um... I believe it is history with proficiency mm-hmm. added twice. So this would be this would be a plus five. Plus five. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Damn Natural it. Natural one. Wow. Yeah. So that's a that's a nat one with yeah. So as uh, you're sitting there like tapping the the actual like. The doors to the cells and what is this is like a falcron level of stone cunning it's pretty great um so yeah yeah you, you just it, it all seems pretty solid can't really take that for granted so and i'd like uh, to go around and just have a listen to all the walls and see if i can hear okay roll me know, perception. Like any i will guide myself when i have a listen come on give me something good there we go. There. I'm going to use my guidance anyway, just because they might be miles away. A 28 perception. Excellent. Okay. So where are you currently? Because I don't, I don't see your token um, at all. I yeah, I'm on the stairs, but I will move myself down into the into the round, and I will go around to each of the rooms and listen. Okay. You know, he's just going around and just listening everywhere. Um, inside the cells okay. with at the floors with a, with a 28 perception that is that is pretty stellar but uh, around the cells like you, you listen and of course the, the Durgar sees you and is just like <laughs> spits at you as he sees you and yeah uh, so uh, the 28 did you, he the, I'll give him a guiding bolt level 2 <laughs> <laughs> Mirror on the wall. Um, with the twenty-eight perception, as you're sort of going from cell to cell, you're listening. You're not like the cells all seem solid, and, and like you, you don't feel the tremor. You don't like nothing seems amiss. Though that that twenty-eight was pretty amazing. But something in the back of your head says, if I was trying to get in here. I mean, it'd be a pretty, pretty great way to come across, but you don't like, but again, you don't sense anything in terms of, of a tremor or, or, or maybe a distant sound or like an echo that would have come from someone using tools beyond the walls. Okay. And that's, and that's as you're searching the cells. Right? Oh, just, just the cells. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm talking about, he will go to all of the rooms, including here. So you're going to the guards' room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this whole downstairs, he spends time, like, with his 28, just going around to each room and uh, studying each room, spending 10 minutes listening around. Okay, okay. so uh, uh, roll me roll me again for the guards' room. Oh, okay, do you want me to keep rolling? Yeah. yeah. I thought I could use the same roll. I will guide myself again. Uh, 21. 23. Nice, nice. Uh, again, with that, again, like you have that. There's something nagging thought in the back of your head, just like something's like ah, I just don't like it down here. But again, you don't. There's nothing in the guards room that you sensed on there. Do you want to go back uh, to the interrogation room? Into here, yeah. All right, all right. Roll uh, one more perception check. This is gonna be a bad one. I. I'm going to use my inspiration. Oh. And I will guide myself. Uh, 
perception, inspiration. 23 plus 4. 27. Just so ever just so everyone knows, he rolled a 1 and a 17, so it's a good thing yeah. he used. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so he was like, it's going to be a bad one, and it absolutely was. Yeah, he flexed it. So with that 27, as you get into the interrogation room, you see sort of this pulsing from one of the flagstones. And then sure enough, a pick comes through the top of it. Hello. Bursting into the room. Are the deer gar? I call out straight. I'll take it they've got to climb out first, but I will call out and stand on top of it and just start whacking. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Deer gar whacking. Wow. Yes. I did. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> it was only when it was only when Amy went out. I was thinking, deer gar. Yeah. Like, Hang on a minute. They fucking burrow. <laughs> <laughs> Great thinking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I call out. All right, I see an initiative tracker. Oh yeah, oh yes, indeed, friends. It is. It is about that time. So okay. remember to click on your token first, because yeah, yeah, I'm looking for mine like now. Every time. <laughs> uh, remember, you do have advantage, Ferio. Nine. So uh, can we all roll in, or are we waiting to hear Herrick calling us? Well, I, I was hoping with that twenty-seven, I might get like a bit of a surprise round in. Uh, so with the twenty-seven, so the the thing is, the Durgar know they're coming in, um, but uh, so uh, you can roll in with that initiative, but uh, they're also going to go ahead and roll in. So because oh, but uh, we've rested, haven't we? We've slept and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 A couple times. Because I haven't done a long rest or anything. So. <laughs> I'm going to go a couple roll. times. I'm just okay. kidding. Everybody else could roll in as well, but uh, know that, like, depending upon where you're at, you're going to be, I'm going to say, you might be running to the party a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, I imagine I'm going to be a bit behind. But... Oh, just a skoosh. Just a skoosh. Um, all right, then. So, got the professor on there. I've got Herrick. Lovely. Dun, 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 dun. So, DM, before you pop anything off, DM, the, the thing that I messaged you could become relevant. The thing that I privated you uh, before the break, and then I, I touched on it again after. That could be relevant, because if I knew this were happening, I could... Right, 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 in terms of uh, having... Yeah, no, a notification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but of course, currently... I, I, do you, so with this popping off, keep in mind that it's just Herrick in the back room. Uh, he's currently the only one who's sort of aware that something is actually cracked off. Uh, unless he, now, Herrick, do you shout for the guards to let them know that, like... Literally, as soon as he sees the pick, he shouts out. Yeah, literally, as soon as the pick comes through, he shouts out. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, as... That pick goes out. Let's go ahead and organize this thing in descending order because holy crap. All right. So starting at the tippity tip tip top. Uh, so he shouts out, which means the this guard here is going to go ahead and stay at his post and try to back you up a little bit. This guard runs up to the first floor and is going to shout and say, Dergar! And so from there, Fariel... Do I get a free round or? What? Oh no, sir! No, no sir! Because like that pick was coming through, and these Durgar are ready to, to, to kick some ass. So, uh, Fariel, at twenty, you, I'm going to say that you are moving back towards the building. Just um, traveling, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would, yeah. So I don't know if we're actually counting it, but you know, bonus action dash action movement, all dig of it. it. Dig it, dig it, dig it. All right. Now keep in mind that uh, the, the doors have not yet been secured and all that jazz, so. Um, so you should be able to come through the front doors is what I'm saying, if you're uh, looking to do that, but. Uh, all right, up first is going to be uh, Durgar number E. So uh, that's the first one out of the gate. He's gonna try to move to try to get with Herrick. So as he comes bursting out, 
he will attack with his war pick. Swing in with a, with a six. Does that hit you? No. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Secretary Gar is going to go ahead and pull himself up. He's going to try to move. Uh, he, he's going to move out of the way just to make, just make sure that his Durgar brothers can get up. And then from there, uh, next up on the list is going to be Flynn. All right. Um, I imagine from like the top of the staircase here, I'm able to hear like the relaying yells from the, yeah, from the, so the guards. Yeah, just ran up and said, Dur- Durgar in the dungeon. So uh, I'm going to dash to get as close as I can. So that's going to be okay. like... Okay, so that puts me down there. I'm going to um, pull out my crossbow because I imagine they're still far enough away that I can't get to... Right, right. Um, and... No, I think that's it. That's all I'm going to do. All right, dig it. So then from there, I have Zilvana. You okay. have Mute Vana. Mute Vana. <laughs> that- <laughs> Zilvana, Bard School of Mime. Yes. <laughs> it's only been a year and Fox. no one can unmute yet. Nope. Womp, womp. Um, womp, you shut your face. Um, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Dan- Xander studied in the school of snark, so there's yeah, oh, he's see that. valedictorian. Mm, indeed. Um, so I'm going to dash. How 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 far can I dash? So you can double your movement. So whatever your base speed is, you double that, and that's what you get for your dash. However, if you do dash, that is going to cost you your action as well. So you mm. should, I think, with your movement of base movement of thirty, be able yeah. to dash sixty. Yeah, um, and blocks are ten. Uh, blocks are five in this. Oh, oh, okay. That, that should put you one square in front of me. You, uh, you also, you can bonus if you have a bonus action that you want to do. It that just burn, it burns your main action to dash. Okay. Yeah. All right, five, ten, six. Okay. Um, God, it's hard to see everything. Sorry. <laughs> um, not there. Oh damn! You went Here. inside. No, I just couldn't <laughs> scroll down fast. <laughs> I couldn't scroll down fast enough. What All the right. hell? Um, Damn, girl. And bonus action of giving Herrick bardic inspiration. Oh, I don't know can if I you do can that? see him. Oh, crap. Yeah, I have to be nice. <laughs> you got this, dude. You, did? you can do it. All right. I don't know um, where you are, but I believe. All right. Can, can I just like pull out my rapier then? Are you ready for action? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's it, I guess. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Uh, let's go ahead and go next to the professor. Right. Let's see how far I can actually get and not hold everyone else up behind me. Uh, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50
tell Zaria or tell uh, tell Zaria. Right, right. So that's the thing. Did Tempest see Feriel go and 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 follow oh, her? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You just you never you never confirmed. So yeah, I will I will. I did actually, but yes. So if you oh, I'm ahead. I'm sorry. I I didn't if, you, right. if I did not I didn't pick that up. So yeah, I will I will yell for um for Tempest to to get Feriel like, Tempest right, to, uh, alert. right damn now. Yeah. Alert Feriel right damn now. And then I will dash, uh, though I can't, I can't do all of it. Oh, I'm in, I'm in the room. I'm, I'm here, Eric. I'm here. Shatter comes through the wall. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, and yeah. I, and I will, I will just back up Flynn. Uh, I will draw my rapier. And I, I'll yell out something really kind of snarky and shitty to the Durgar. That sounds fair. In, in Dwarvish. Oh, dick move. I know, right? I love it. I love it. All right, then. So we go ahead and finally get back to some of the other Durgar. All right, then. So uh, from here, uh, uh, this Durgar is going to move up to get into move. Eric, you're blocking that door perfectly. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, he's going to go ahead and swing his war pick. An 11. Eh, eh. That, yep, yeah, no, you, you tanky bastard. All right, so, uh, and this Durgar here is going to go ahead and uh, really want you guys to do something. That would be great. A 12. Uh-uh. Wow. Man, these guys are, these guys are rolling like uh, just garbage. All right, uh, and then that I, leaves us. Everyone's our, using the salt marsh dice tonight. Uh, Eric, <laughs> you are up, sir. You've got... Um, uh. Herrick will whack the first guy in front of him. Love it. Or attempt to, that is. Uh, da, 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 da. With a 12 to hit. <laughs> uh, to, to quote Herrick, eh, eh. Yep. he will then step back to here. Oh, okay. That's going to result in at least... Looks like at least one, no, two. Two. Uh, two attacks of opportunity there. All right, so one, two. Oh dear God, that is a crit fail. All right, so. Yeah. Oh, but one of them is a critical hit. Huzzah! So with a 24, the Durgar brings his war pick down and does, good God, just whoppings amounts of damage. Uh. He does 16 points of damage. 16? Jesus. Yeah. Points of damage. What weapons are you using? It's a war pick. That doesn't seem right. That is. Mine is 1d8 plus 3. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. But but Uh, that is a crit, though. No, it, so the crit is actually a 12. I'm sorry. The 16 was if he was enlarged. That's why it gave me two. I was very confused. Okay. All right, then. Ah. In a normal Durgar, you take 12. Which okay. Is uh, okay. <laughs> Don't back. let them enlarge themselves. Panic! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah, okay. Well, it was, it was a crit at least. Uh, okay, so he steps back to there. Um, and then. Da, 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 where is it? It then speaks the words Sesti Sigit and cast a second level moonbeam right there. Ha! <laughs> nice. oh, and I say to him, you will pay for that. <laughs> uh, and I will just click on cast. Yeah. And that's where I'll stay. Love it. Okay, so. It's the moonbeam. 40 feet. No one's in it yet. What's well, it's a ten foot diameter, five foot radius. Yeah, five foot radius. So the spell ends. And it's it's one of those weird spells that doesn't actually do damage until the creature's turn. Got it. Okay, must they have to make a Constitution saving throw. All right. All right. Well, speaking of switch, uh, so it is going to. So the the diameter of it is actually. Two squares? One, is it only the one spot, isn't it? No, it's, it's five, five foot radius, radius, so it's four squares total. Oh, got wow. It. Okay. So, so do you have, and I imagine you've got it centered so that it's 
that out of my way. Um, so you've got it centered so that it's uh, over these three in front here. Uh, I can't see where you're pinging, but I'm I, mean, so sorry. I, I would have just placed it there, but I don't know if think you can do that, can you? So, so yeah, I'll just do it here. All right. So, okay. So those three have to make that con save. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So, dear guard number one, he went ahead and tried to take a swing on. He's going to go ahead and make his con save. He rolled a five. So I'm betting that doesn't... <laughs> he takes, he takes doesn't beat 12 DC. damage. Just call it a hunch. All right. So he takes 12. And is looking a little smoky. All right, then. Uh, let's see. Uh, he already went ahead. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, I cocked up. I took a swing, didn't I? I, you I did, yeah. I attacked. So I, in my head, I was going to be doing... Everything got confused. I couldn't have cast Moonbeam. Sorry. I got you. I got you because you because you swung. In my I'm head, not... I was going to do that, and, I, and then I uh, I was going to do that and Shield of Faith, but then I changed it in my head. I think I'm oh, actually yeah, Moonbeam would work quite good, so I would have cast sorry Shield of Faith as my bonus okay. action. So, okay. 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 Yeah. No. I literally just sitting there thinking, hang on a minute, that's an action, and I've already taken. Yeah. Sorry. It, well, the Moonbeam would. Right. There's a reason why I'm a friendly neighborhood DM. Yes. All right. So, so it, it would have uh, been Shield of Faith. Apologies. All right. So Shield of Faith, which of course increases your AC by. Two. Two, I believe? Yeah. Two Dig it. Okay. So, that first Durgar moves forward. Take a swing on you. They really want you dead. Oh, it's another crit. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's swinging. Uh, and that's another 12 damage from him. Okay. All right. Uh, and... I don't know what that was. Uh, and then Durgar number two is going... God, they yeah, have to just... You got them all boxed up here. Which one's that? So that's one that. Do I get uh, so partial uh, cover from him? Uh, yeah. So the the these two are going to be rolling at disadvantage. But uh, so this second one who just moved around to try to get to you, he's going to be rolling at disadvantage to try to hit. So let me. Oh yes, the concentration. Thank you, Z. Uh, he rolled. Uh, looks like. 15, and, oh, there'll be a 13 to hit, which I imagine does not hit you. No, my concentration passed as well. It does pass. Lovely. Oh, yeah, it does with a beautiful 20. Well done. Okay, and from there, we are now up to Fariel. Fariel! I imagine at this point, uh, Tempest has come to you and said, huh, hoo hoo! Uh, no, uh, <laughs> so, as sort of like, she's like circled you, and then, hoo 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 hoo! And she's sort of telling you that you have to. I'm going, I'm going. You're very urgent. And then she immediately takes back off towards the uh, the town hall. I don't know where I am, so I'm just I would say, I'll say, I'll, I'll say, I'll let you, so if you're dashing uh, at this point and next round, I would say you'll, you're to the town hall by next round. Okay. All right. Uh, this Durgar here is going to go ahead and try to make a disadvantage back against uh, <laughs> this this very uh, beefy dwarf that's blocking our way. So, one and two. Oh god, crit fail on that one, so no, he does not get it. Does, uh, he, get, does he hit his friend with a crit fail? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't like mishap uh, tables, buddy, so I won't, I won't use them. It's all right. <laughs> so, uh, that is going to move behind to throw the javelin. With a 22, I imagine that will hit. And he threw that at disadvantage, right? Well, uh, uh, this one here who moved behind? That wouldn't be a disadvantage. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying. To, we can't help Herrick. I'm trying no, everything I, I can. No. <laughs> Herrick, that is five piercing damage from the javelin. Okay. All right. Could have helped him if we bought that plate armor earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is any in this town. <clears throat> All right, and uh, now we're up to Tiberius. Oh, Jesus, I don't like this. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Herrick, how are you looking? Uh, yeah, looking good he, on my one hit point. He's real bad. All right, so this is the, so um, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, drop the crossbow and pull out uh, my, uh, 
uh, my my rapiers, and um, I'm gonna anime run down the the hall here. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Um, over Davana, around this guard, like all uh, around the corner, all the way down here. And is there any way I can dash and swap places with Herrick? Dash and swap places with Herrick. Uh, so that's. So if you do, that's. So that's 10, 20 to get past the guards uh, and Zelvana as you're trying to move through. Yeah. That squeeze action. So, um, are you, and if you, you want to dash down the rest of the hallway, uh, if Herrick is willing to swap places with you, but he's, he's, I imagine he's really focused on being sort of the bulwark. So, um, tell you what, move up to him and, and give me a, an acrobatics roll at disadvantage. Okay. He's also at death's door, so he might not be able to fight it too much. Oh, that's true. That's true. Try me. <laughs> ah, what is your <laughs> fair point? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Flynn. Okay, can we... oh, I lost my icon. <laughs> oh no! He's at he's at the bottom of the map for some reason. He acrobatic so hard he oh, doesn't hold even... on. went right through the wall. <laughs> I got to reload the page because it's glitching on me. Like I kept moving that thing around and threw oh. me off. Oh no. All right. I'm running, but like, no, it's the most like as, as ridiculous as I can make it for like the two swords behind me running, oh, like <laughs> both arms kind of behind the back, like, hey! like this. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's what we're here for. Uh, like, because anime may not exist here, but I feel like Flynn embodies it a lot. Oh, absolutely. There's that. There's like one artist in ten towns. It's like I've got this great thing. It's anime, yeah. it's like just like doing like anime scrimshaw. It was like their their heads are all out of proportion. You're yeah. No one gets him. He's before his time. Yeah. I'm all right, and that was Flynn Naruto with the dwarflinger. <laughs> thing called. And Clint I have Clint. an idea. <laughs> well, is that uh, athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics. Acrobatics, nice. Here we go. Oh, 24. Boy. Okay, with a 24, you can very easily sort of just whoop, whoop, and you manage to put yourself uh, switching. Uh, Herrick, do you resist that movement? Herrick would, because uh -huh. he's yeah. he would be want to be the door. All right, so go ahead and roll an athletics check. Try to beat a 24. Oh, athletics. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's the grapple. Roll, I can't. So. I can't beat a twenty-four. Well then, with your as you're sort of like, no, but, 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 but. yeah, good. So, <laughs> so we have that this nice little rope a dope here as Flynn manages to get in and sort of like. Uh, so Rodney, describe to me what Flynn does to get around him. I want to. I want to hear this. With all um. Your... So uh, uh, I'm Flynn is asking me like, Herrick, move!" And as he turns around to be like, "I'm not going to move." Like, no. So, Bound off from one wall to the other one over Herrick and like drop down to like whatever space Herrick took to like move back to yell at Flynn. Yeah, I dig it. Cause I imagine like Herrick tried to like throw you off, but like he kind of stumbled back a little bit and that gave you just enough of an opening to land it. And then um, what do you say to the deer guards you land in front of them? You gotta get through me now. I just imagine him sliding through my legs and then giving me the arm. I, <laughs> I, I was hoping for a wall run. How did he do it? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and eat. so at Herrick, as you move out, because the the Durgar are dazzled by uh, Finn's uh, Flynn's display of acrobatics, they they don't take the the attack on you. Uh, Zolvana, you're up next. All right, so I'm gonna move right up to Herrick, and um, healing word. Use healing word. Okay, brilliant. Uh, um. I can find it. <laughs> there we go. What is the um, word? Is it cuddle? Is there you it go. Ah. It's love. It's always love, Ryan. Like, oh yeah, I had that one in, in Celestial, but I forgot. Nice. Um, I a think it's healing word for eight healing. Well done. With the, I think it was like healing shice or something like that. Um, oh, you're filthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, is is there? a way to use inspiration, like the D6 inspiration that I had to help him at all, or? If you inspire me, I was going to heal myself next round. I can use that as healing. Okay, as well. so yeah. I'll, can I also inspire him then? 
But yes, so inspiration can be used uh, to heal as well if the person uses it uh, on their healing roll. So. Okay. Yes. Inspiration is a bonus action, is it not? Yes. Which is bonus just action. used. Oh, which was what the healing word was. Oh. That's all right. Dang it. Good catch. You did the same thing anyway. That gave me more healing. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Is that it for you, Zalvana? Uh, yes. All right. Dig it. The Professor. Um, Rather than jumping in front of Xander just to make him leapfrog past me again, um, I think I'll just hold my action and just have my action be moving after Xander moves to get down the hallway. All right. So you're going to move after Xander moves. All right. Yeah. Because so, then at least Xander can get to the corner and start. Because I wouldn't I, be able to get to the corner anyway. Okay, so rather than sort of bundle all you guys up into that corner, you're going to let Xander go. And then do you have a, a held action that you want to do at that point or just sort of letting him go first? Mm, I think moving has to be my held action. Brilliant. Okay. Xander. Why, yes, thank you. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, so I'm going to move to here. And I know the hallway is thick, but my guess is I can see this very first guy here that's right in front of Flynn. Would that be fair to say? Um, Since there's really no mechanic yes. rule about yes, that's fair to say. not being able to see things. Uh, does he look like he has been has been has taken some damage already? No. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, that's all right. I'm still going to do. Toll the dead. Oh, yeah. On that guy in the front there. The second you started questioning that, it's like, does he Miss, look kind of crazy? So, so he's not missing any hit points. No, he is not. Okay. All right. The so D and D Beyond, Beyond asks me, so I have oh, to. Oh, no, of course. Of course. A wisdom save is an 11. <laughs> he did not save, so he takes one. He takes oh. all one of the one. Oh, uh, <laughs> look at. It, look at. It hurts him. Look at Goosey's comment. It's the best thing I've seen ever. <laughs> oh, that is pretty. That is that is pretty great. That is pretty great. <laughs> so, and just for posterity, when this is on YouTube and you don't have the chat stream, Goose says, "I love how Reginald is wearing the missing piece of Xander's beard." <laughs> <laughs> well played, Goose. Well played. <laughs> A party that's joined together by many things. Friendship, danger, uh, facial hair. Uh, <laughs> um, that's fantastic. I. That's what I got right now. All right, All right that's cool. One whole points. All, all one points. All the ones. All right, dig it. So from there... Uh, we're going to go ahead and get those last two, Durgar. Uh, so this one's going to go ahead and move over here. And he is going to attempt to just throw a javelin at Flynn because he just showed up like a boss. Uh, so javelin to Flynn is a 16. Does that hit? No, because I got two swords out. I get one more to my AC, so I'm at a 17. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I freaking love it. So you deflect a javelin with your... With Rapier. your rapier. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. All right. Excellent. Uh, and the sixth uh, Durgar is Klaska. So he's going to attempt to grapple the guard in front of his cage. Oh, my God. And see if he can't choke that bastard out. So let's see here. This is going to be... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Whew. He rolled an 18. All right. Guardy guard. Guard rolls the opposing grapple. Oh no. Yeah, no, that guard crit failed that roll. So, uh, so like Klaska manages to get his hands around his neck and he's, so that guard is currently grappled against the door. Uh, Professor, he is right in front of you as he does this. Yep. So look at you. All right, uh, Herrick. Jay, did you, did you see that uh, Madeline has dropped off the... He's muted. Sorry, go ahead. I don't know why that suddenly turned the shutter on. So, I made the nope. zone. Oh. She's back. Yeah, it's back now. Oh. <clears throat> okay. 
Yeah, sorry about Yay. that. Um, my go, is it? Okay, it Harrick, is your go, Herrick. Extremely frustrated that he's now no longer in the in the combat. Um, he will now cast his moonbeam there. Okay, okay, casting it right there. Do uh, you want me to use the same roll? Um. Or... Yeah. No. Uh, go ahead. Roll it again. Cast it again. Yeah. 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 Cast it again. I cast it. Bring forth your moonbeam. I cast right. it. Dig it. So uh, as you cast that, and then that's the one where they have to make the con save to mm -hmm. uh, to, to get out of it. All right. Awesome sauce. Anything else, Harry? Um. Can I? Is it a bonus action to drink a healing potion? It is a bonus action to drink a healing potion in my game. Cool. I will drink a healing potion then. Brilliant. I love it. A potion of healing. Let me click it on 20. Oh, nice. Eight points back. Yes. Oh, uh, that was a, that was. A I cool have one left. Nice. Eight one points. healing potion left? Yeah. Man. One hit point. This stream has been very kind to you. One actually. healing potion left. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we were already playing the one hit point game. All right. Yeah, so, I'm back uh, on 17. Thank you very much to Zilvana as well. Mm, uh, okay, so the first Durgar is going to go ahead and make That his... drops Shield of Faith, by the way. Aha. <coughs> Keeping you honest, I love it. All right, so first con save is an 18. So they pass that first save, but they take half damage, which... Half, yeah. Four. All right. Four. Is that all of them save, or...? Oh, no, it was just the one. Okay. So, because I, I got to do it on their turns, so... Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right. So, first one takes that half damage, and then he is going to go ahead and try to beat the snot out of Finn. Not with an eight, though. He certainly won't do that. So that one is... That one is... Uh, just sad. All right, second Durgar, the one right next to him, rolls a crit 20 on his constitution save, not to make Flynn nervous there. Um, and so <laughs> he's actually going to go ahead and... But he still takes four. Yeah, still takes four. He's going to go ahead and move two back there. He'll take the four damage from that one. And Take opportunity. Yeah. AO from Flynn. Hey. Yeah. At disadvantage for the corner, but yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll take it anyway. Do it. Suck 14. It. 14 <laughs> is not enough to hit. Oh. Uh, all right. I know, these, these, these dwarfy folk, I tell you. Uh, he's going to go ahead and try to return the favor with a javelin. No. Ow. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Flynn, that javelin was a critical hit. Uh, and so you, my friend, will be taking 14 points of damage. Jesus, all right. Is he enlarged again? He's not, he, no, he's not enlarged again. He's was, not enlarged. was the damage the D6 that you rolled, DM? What's that? Was the damage oh, that the D6? Me, that was me desperately attempting to actually get the D6 to roll. Uh, so it did but, roll, and there was only oh, one that rolled, and it was a one. Oh, it did. Oh, it did. It did. But, um, so... Uh, all right, so that Durgar went, that Durgar went, and for the love of the gods, Fariel, you are now in the building. Oh, oh my oh, god. thank goodness. Um, what the are building. the guards up here doing? Absolutely I think, do they even nothing. know what's going on? So, uh, the guards that are current, so, yeah, as you are, are walking in here, you notice that this this guard is just like, th th there's, there's fighting in the dungeon. Uh, and... As you come in, do you come into the room? Yeah, yeah. Am I coming in the front door or the side? That's your call. Are you Which would have been the closest proximity to the direction that I was coming from with the stables. The fastest entrance would have been the front doors. Then that's where I am. All right, excellent. So I will put you over at the front. Oh, there you go. Well, look at you moving around. All right, so I'm going to oh, pop you in front of the front right, doors. Yeah, there. Yeah, I was there. I'm there now. Uh, 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 uh. All right, good. Uh, so as you're there, the, the guards are opening the doors. It's like... There's, uh, there was shouting. We heard. Uh, we didn't want to leave our post, though. Has anyone checked on the speaker? Uh, no, we haven't. The, we heard shouts of from the Of course not. Um, I'm going to run <laughs> upstairs. Ah, okay. So you head upstairs. So you're in the second floor. Yeah. 
Um, let me see. So I don't know where I'm starting my like count of movement because so I don't want to like cheat you. Start, no, you're totally good. So start right there from that front entrance. So you've got that 5, 10, 15, 20 will get you up to the second level. And okay. Then, yeah. And then if you want to dash, you can. Yeah. If I use movement action bonus action to just. So I have 90 feet total. Yeah, totally. How far can I get? So that so that can get you uh, to here. However, this door is locked. Okay. And I'm assuming if I've done action, bonus action, movement, I can't pick it right now. I so would say no. I yeah. will wait there. All right. All right. Excellent. Uh, next up is the next Jirgar. So uh, this Jirgar, is, so that's going to be this one here, who was who is also in the beam. He needs to roll his con save. Let's see if he con. Mm. Rolls a 15. Well, well, well done, you beefy gents. So he'll only take half damage as well. So that is, I believe, four. a further four. Yeah. T. All right. So four damage there. Boom. T. And what's that? <laughs> huh? No, oh, no, four, four, 14. It, it's cool. It's cool. 14. <laughs> Trifling, trifling. All right. Um, so, uh, and then he is also going to go ahead and take a throw of a javelin at Flynn. Box. You got me in a box here, man. I know what you... Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Right? We all puckered a little bit on that one. Uh, that, that is a 12 to hit Flynn, which I imagine does not. Woo, nope. <laughs> all right. All right. Dig it. Uh, and that is that, Durgar. And then this one in the back. He's going to throw his javelin. You're keeping track of how many javelins they have, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> just, uh, just like Boaster. Oh, Jesus, a six. Yeah, that doesn't hit for nothing. All right, so then we are now up to Mr. Flynn. All right. Um, if I take the dodge action, does that only count for the one directly in front of me? Ooh, that doesn't count for all of them. I believe it's all attacks that are targeted towards you. Uh, mm -hmm. I imagine there's somebody uh, in the thread, Z, no, it's who definitely... could... Uh, if dodge action is all attacks, yeah. All attacks. Yeah, all right. attacks that you can see. <laughs> Good thing I'm in a hallway. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I will. I'm going to take the dodge action and I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to use a second. I'm going to use my second wind to get something back. Okay. 10. Nice. Okay. Wow, dude. Okay, can, like that's plus your level, though, isn't it? Yeah, we've been rolling good on. Oh, healing. plus three. Yeah, seriously, no, you guys have been doing fantastic on your healing rolls. So keep that up. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, and I'm just gonna, I'm, um, I'm just gonna dodge right here, like okay. <laughs> ducking and weaving, weaving and ducking. All right, dig it, dig it, dig it. Um, all right, Zilvana, you're up. All right, so, um. Is it a bonus action to cast a spell, or is that your main action? Depends, Depends on the spell. Depends Typically, on the spell. it's an action. Okay, so um, I would like to cast Fairy Fire. Nice. Um, yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna do that. Here we go. Did a thing. Um, hopefully, I did that right. I'll be all of that. Okay. <laughs> and, Twenty um, foot square. That's all of them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that 20 foot square. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. For the duration, uh, any attack rolled against the affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it. They, right. get, a, they get a save. Yeah. Yeah, they got to make deck saves, though. Oh, dig it. All right, cool. So let me go ahead and roll deck saves. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see if they all showed up. Oh my god, these are the most garbage saves in the world. Okay, uh, so... Wait, you mean they're the most fantastic saves in the world? Yeah, no, in order, fantastic. it is a 3, a 5, an 11, Ooh. a 4, and a 9. I imagine the 11 is perhaps the only hope I have of actually beating your DC. I don't think so. But I don't, I don't, I don't think I actually got it. No. I'm sorry, do you... Uh, her DC what, what is your... What is your... 14. Wait, what do I need to do? What's yeah, your DC? her DC is uh, here. DC is uh, fourteen, I believe. I believe your spell save DC, Silvana. 
I believe so. Kick, kick um, spell. On the tab that says spells. Yeah, it's a 14. Modifier, spell attack, and save DC. Yeah. So that DC is what I had to beat for that deck save, which is a 14, which means all of these Durgar are lit up. So yeah. well, well done, Zolvana. Um, and I have, can I do a bonus action of Bardic Inspiration to Flynn? Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> right. uh, he's the one that's in danger, not me. Abs- absolutely, you can. Yeah. Herrick, I still love you. Yeah. I feel bad for some reason. <laughs> I love it so much. All right. Okay, yeah, you absolutely right. can. So use and that. So you yeah. pop it off. What do you say to inspire Flynn? It's okay, buddy. You got this. <laughs> Don't suck. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Professor. Thumbs up while dodging javelins. Yes. Uh, so, I've got Klaska here. Yeah, who's currently choking the life out of this guard. Yeah. Oh, I'm sliver. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can do to him. I want him to move away, but I don't want to kill him either. These are the hard choices we have to make in life sometimes. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cast Cause Fear. I'm going to look at him and my eyes will go black and I'll say, sit down. Ooh. Uh, and I am also going to target that guard as well. <laughs> because I want him to run away from... Okay. <laughs> okay, the, brilliant. Uh... So... Because All right, I so can. What... All right, so what, what do I got to roll for this one? Oh. This is a wisdom, wisdom save. Wisdom saving throw. All right. Yeah. So uh, as you do that, all right, he rolls uh, 15. That saves you. Yeah. All right. All right. So he, like, as you go ahead and like, you know, uh, what, what, what did you say to him with your dark, glowy eyes? Sit down. <laughs> and he just goes, <laughs> and squeeze this harder on the guard. However, the guard, let's see here. Uh, he's going to roll his wisdom. That's what I thought it was. All right, good. So the guard rolls his wisdom. He rolled a 12. So, uh, so the guard that. is frightened. Yeah, so he's, <laughs> so now he's freaking out. He's just like, <laughs> so Klaska like tightens his grip on the guard and the guard's just like, oh! So, like, a little bit of vomit. Come, like, he's just having the worst day. All right. Um, do I have any bonus actions? I can do... Uh, nope. That's it. All right. Excellent. So, uh, Xander, that is your turn. Um... Is there enough noise from that behind me that I know that's going on? Would you say? Oh, I would say. Oh, the, that guard You're two is two feet losing, away. Yeah, well, he's I'm losing sorry. his shit. Yeah. Um. I know that it's kind of catty corner, and it may just not be that I can do it because of the way the cell door is. Is there a way that I could come back with my rapier and stick Klaska with my rapier? Yes, I would have you make the attack at disadvantage because he does have the guard up against the gate, um, especially if you're looking to stick him. Um, and uh, obviously, you know what's going to happen if you nat one on that. But would it um, would it be easier for me to cast a spell at him? Um, in terms of attacking just him, probably yes. Hmm. You know, I'll, I'll make the attack at disadvantage. I'm gonna move back one square. I'll make the attack at disadvantage on Klaska. Okay. Um, that's that's control. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Nah. Uh, so with a ten, that is not enough to get through his armor. I think so armor. He- He's a prisoner. <laughs> they did I take mean, his armor off. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. 
<laughs> they took if his the guards, If the guards put him in jail and left his armor on, we own this town now. Once this yeah, fight is concluded, we know these guards suck. So yes. this no, is not going to be East are... Haven. This so, is going to be our so Haven. While it certainly has dropped his armor class down because he doesn't have all of his accoutrement, like a ten still doesn't do it. So okay, that's that's fair. Trap. Um, all right. <laughs> Trap. All right. So uh, now we go ahead and we are. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. So here we go into the last two Durgar. All right. So, uh, but, but, but this one here on the corner is going to attempt to take an attack at Flynn. Uh, I believe I said that that's, that's a disadvantage because it's around. I, well, all of them because I'm still dodging. Oh, that's right. Oh, well, since I can't disadvantage, disadvantage, <laughs> just disadvantage. All right, then. So, yeah, if you press uh, control, uh, delete, that it does. <laughs> yeah, right. Is that how that works? All right. Yeah. So, uh, Alt, Alt F4, I believe, is the keyboard shortcut for disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Alt F U as well. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a six for that hit, which I imagine is nowhere near. Uh, getting uh, near Flynn. So that tings off, and then uh, we're going to go ahead, and this last Jirgar is Klaska. So he goes and tries to put the squeeze on his squeeze. Uh, it just sounds gross when I say it like that, but... Uh, so, oh, he rolled a 20 for that strength check. Alright. I mean, that's fine. If he kills the guard, I mean, it just means we're going to kill him outright. So I mean, it's it's fine. I mean, yeah, yeah. you're not you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But what did the guard roll to? Yeah, right. To escape. So, yeah, the guard. Is going, oh god. Okay. He's also panicking. Does he get advantage because he really wants to get away? I don't. I don't think that's advantage. But uh, okay. I'm pretty sure. I feel like you're being <laughs> choked to death and terrified. You probably. I don't know. All right. All right I mean go. that that adrenaline dump is gonna. That's, yeah, it's gonna be huge. Yeah. All right. Well, he rolled a 17 for uh, for his acrobats to try to get out of it, which is which was an advantage and is not enough to break the 20 strength hold. All so, right, fine. He, yeah, uh, so that this guard, guard's a goner. Yeah, that guard's probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a he's he's not looking too great. Uh, and Herrick, you're up. I'll at least drop convert concentration on the fear so that he is. Slightly see, less see terrified, less, slightly <laughs> less terrified as he chokes out. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. No, oh, you don't yeah. deserve this. You're fine. You're fine. Let it it's happen. Okay. You're fine. It's okay. <laughs> I will move the moonbeam over to the left to get the three again. Okay, so you go. Oh, moving it to the left, so it hits those three. Hits those three. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. And then All right. I will look at the one in front of Flynn. Mm-hmm. And I, oh, I thought Guided Bolt was actually a, um... Bonus action? No, I thought it was a to hit spell, but it's not. Guiding Bolt? Guiding Bolt, yeah. It is a to hit spell. Yeah, it is. It's a it's, spell attack. It's, I thought it's, it's, uh... Oh, it is? Okay. How do you I do. roll that? Oh, here we go. However, uh... If you if you move since you moved Moonbeam, that's an action. Nah, that's not true. It's a bonus so, action to move it. Moonbeam, yeah. I'm looking at the components of it right now, guys. On each of your turns after you cast the spell, you can use an action to move the beam up to sixty feet in any direction. Oh, okay. There you go. I that thank you very much. That could be a typo. Well, that's, that saves that spell. I'll add that back then. Um... Yeah, so, uh, yeah. No, so 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 hold off on your guiding bolt until we uh, unless. Yeah. <laughs> no. Anyone else just to refute, but I will summon my spiritual weapon then <clears throat> to land there. Wow, it is it is an action. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking of dawn. Is dawn? You're thinking of spiritual weapon. That's a bonus. Yeah, action. spiritual Ooh. weapon is that stupid broken that's overpowered right. spell. That's Yeah, because you move that. One, I, yeah. I, I'm thinking of dawn. I think that's what Herrick is thinking of as well. Because oh, dawn. No idea. I'm still new to this. Uh, no, 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 yeah, no, no, but no, it's no. good. Thank you very much for telling me that. Yeah, but spiritual it saves weapon. Saves me no. wasting that spell because I rolled a uh, a ten and an eleven. So I rolled. Oh yeah, no, that was a garbage guiding bolt. Um, yeah. So I will summon. Obviously, I moved the ball, uh, the the moonbeam. Yes. I summon my spiritual weapon. Lovely. So I've now decided what it looks like. 
It is a, a double... You know, like, uh, obviously in this game, you've got the double-ended scimitars. Yeah. Mine's going to be like uh, like double-ended hammers, and it's just going to spin around and sort of... Oh, I love it. That's uh, pretty cool. Armor class 15. Um, Do my... Does the spiritual weapon get advantage? So, it, it, that, so the, the, the specifics of it says that when it makes an attack... Which, uh, so it doesn't say like a melee attack or anything like that. It, yeah, that would give it. I would say, advantage. I would say, yes, you get advantage on that. So you you, you may roll again for the spiritual weapon. Um, it hits. It's a crit fish. Um, Ooh, fifteen. Yeah. I don't know if that hits. Now, so the fifteen does not hit. Okay. Uh. All right, and that lead that I believe we're now back. Oh, so now we're uh, here at the bottom again with the deer guard. Um. All right, so, God bless America, con saves. All right, so uh, upon seeing that thing pop off, he's gonna make his con save. Oh, wow, good luck. Oh, yeah? Oh, obviously, I've just rolled the damage for the moonbeam this round. Oh, good God. All right, so uh, yes. you rolled an 18 for the con save? Yep. Okay, eight, so that's- eight, eight damage. Oof, okay, eight damage. That's halved. I hate that. All right, so all right, so that is all right. Eight damage. Lovely. Uh, oof. He's he's looking a little peaked. All right then. Uh, next. Wait, which one? Which one is that? I'm sorry. They don't highlight for me when I mess over no, them. No, no, that's fair. They, they don't highlight for me ever. Uh, also, I'm not special like that. Um, so uh, this one in front is looking a little okay. rough, rough around the gills. Um, but he is going to go ahead and take his turn. So he's going to swing his war pick at Finn, and that's still at disadvantage, right, Finn? Yup. Bastard. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh man, a twenty-three and a sixteen, which means a sixteen, which means I don't hit you. Yup. 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 Dodging like it's his job. All right. Uh, the next Durgar, uh, one behind him, will make his con save. He's gonna roll. Uh, uh, da, da. Uh, he rolled a 19. Oh, I'm sorry, 14. 14 for his concept. Oh. <laughs> 14 that... would be a save as well, so that's eight off. It is the save. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Is it a save or is it a match? It's a match. Do we roll uh, cons? Do we roll saves, DM? I don't remember. We don't do contests for magic. We do contests for armor, but that's okay. That's a, that's a good question, though. Let me ponder that one. Yeah. Right. Well, we haven't done it before, so just yeah, think about yeah. it for the future. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we. I don't think we have done it before. But all right. And ladies and gentlemen, Fairyel uh, is now in the game. So Fairyel, you're up at the locked door. Are you looking to it, kick it? Is in? she? Is she? Is she in the game? <laughs> she, she don't see her. I don't see her. Look, I'm doing stuff. Okay. Don't see her. How very dare you? All right. So. Uh, Fairyel, you're at that door. He really it's locked. wants me to just steal his rapier, doesn't he? Uh -huh. yep. <laughs> Please, yeah. Yes. Um. If there are no guards nearby that I can yell at to open the door, then I'm gonna um try to pick the lock. All right. Pick that lock. Remind me what I'm rolling for that. How I roll for that on D and D Beyond. Oh, excellent. Uh, so for the ooh, that's a good question for the lock. So D and D Beyond lock pick, I believe is just isn't it your? It's basically. It's, it's your proficiency. Of... So yeah, it's dex doubled. plus proficiency? Dex plus proficiency, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's, if you're proficient in, say, sleight of hand, you might as well just roll a sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. I, that's what I've rolled before. Uh, yeah. If you can Correct. program custom, custom skill. skills yeah. in D&D. &D yeah, I already have one custom skill program, so I can do that. Um, yeah, I'm, well. I have expertise in sleight of hand, so that's not going to be accurate. I'm just going to roll acrobatics because mm -hmm. that's going to be my dex and I'm proficient okay. in that and we'll Brilliant. just use that. That'll work. I like it. There you 23. go. Oh my God. Like apps, like you pop it like it's nothing. You just go ahead and walk right through. All right. Uh, I'm just moving 
toward the speaker as okay. best I can. And as you, as you get to the top of the stairs, the guard here is like, what, what, what's happening? Durga <laughs> att- attack in the basement, apparently. I'm that was, headed that was a fantastic fairy I love it. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. All right, so Asphariel's moving up to find the speaker. We have Dirgar. All right, so. Um, hang on, I need to know exactly where my, where, how far I've moved. Oh, that's, that's, totally fair. that's totally fair. So you've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 30 will actually get you here to the top of the third floor. 30, so um, action to pick the lock, 30 movement. Yes. Can I bonus action dash? Oh, yes, you can because you're so roguey. Right. Yeah. All right, and then as you so then as you try to get to this door, fairy out, there's gonna right. be like the thug on uh, the the thug slash guard <laughs> on the other side is gonna be like, who is it? And so he's going to bar the way there. He's actually got okay. kind of his body pressed against it, so. It's Fariel. There, there's been an attack in the dungeon. Is the speaker all right? The speaker is fine. Let no one's in. up here yet. What'd you say? Let me in. What? How do I know you're you? How do I know you're you? Fair point. And he opens the door. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are so smart. These are the worst guards. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Only an adventurer would be that clever. All right. So. All right. Brilliant. So with Fairy L, it is now back to back to the Durgar. All right. So. Uh, Blasted Moonbeam. I should really do something about that. All right, so uh, this Durgar, no, that got through the javelin. This Durgar here is gonna go ahead and attempt to make, oh no, first he has to make his con save. Come on, someone because, fail. Yeah, someone fail. 16, I'm gonna oh, say that's probably, yeah. Oh, eight oh, damage oh. to him as well. Eight, eight damage to him as, oof, oh, man, he's, he's not looking too hot though, so. Yeah, I mean that that damage, eight damage every round stacks, man. Oh, I yeah. love it. Oh, I love yeah. it. Well, that's a good roll for the moonbeam, to be fair. Yeah, that was a that's a beautiful roll for that moonbeam. All right, he's gonna go ahead and attempt to hit Flynn because he's, it's the only guy he can reach at that point. But that's gonna be <laughs> damage. So. Let's... Stop it. What? All right. So, war pick. Uh, that is going to be a nine. Okay, that. Oh, did. Good. Yeah, right. So you guys got real scared there, didn't you? All right. So, uh, at that point, that is those two. So, uh, let me. Right, one second, friends. When we just trap them in there and just moonbeam them to death. <laughs> I mean, I'm not moving. I'm just gonna like. It's working. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. keep dodging. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Body rolls. Keep, keep dancing, dancing rolls Keep everywhere. dancing. Yeah, I mean, honestly, he's he's not wrong. If you just <laughs> keep it blocked and keep the dodge action, they will die here in a couple of rounds. <laughs> Simply through attrition. <laughs> <laughs> Zalvana can heal you each round with a healing word for the I, even if they do manage to hit you. I must say I gotta get hit first. I mean <laughs> Yeah. So not every round. I mean, we could we could keep this strategy up for a while. At least another session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trifling. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, friends. All right, love it. All right, awesome sauce. So, uh, all right, up next is none other than, of course, the dodgiest of dodgies, Flynn. Still taking the dodge. I'm not moving. 
You uh, will uh, not pass. <laughs> He's dancing the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to turn back to the professor and go, quick, get some cardboard. Flynn's dancing. <laughs> it's about to go down. <laughs> like, they're about to go down. All right, so uh, Zolvana, you're up. Horrocks behind that, him going, oh, big shape, gosh, little hi. big shape. Um, so, yeah, um, uh, I'm behind everyone, so there's that. Is there a way for me to, like, move past people and attack, or should I just keep this bottleneck going? Uh, um. Bottleneck, always bottleneck. <laughs> yeah, if you've got, if you've got ranged attacks or spells, launch them, but. Uh, um, okay, so. I mean, I can throw my dagger, but I don't really know how proficient I'm going to be in it. Um, so, spells. what kind of spells do you have? I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I have Tasha's hideous laughter, which is fun, and I also have dissonant whispers. Um, uh, and shatter. What shatter? That's new. Oh, that Dude, oh, any, shatter, any of those are amazing. great options, honestly. <laughs> Is Shatter gonna like hurt my people though? Yes. No, you can launch it into the room. Oh, okay, that yeah, that's true. It's like yeah, depends where you aim if, it. If, yeah. yeah, so it's a ten foot radius sphere, so it means it's twenty feet. You just have to place it outside the room. Eh, maybe I wouldn't quite do that. Okay. <laughs> How about? Oh, it is twenty foot radius. Oh no, you could if you put it on this no. guy here. If you centered it on him. Uh-huh. You'd actually that you would hit them all, but Flynn would be okay. Yeah, it is a ten foot radius. Okay, yeah. If you put it all the yeah. way in the back. Okay. Um, well, then I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, party members. <laughs> um, all right. So. Hey Ryan, guess what you're doing? More con saves. <laughs> oh. All right. Exciting. Can oh. I use Can I use my inspiration for that at all? Uh, I don't know if you can inspire yourself. I mean, like the one that I got, that's like the D6 thing. Oh, the, oh. oh. Uh, on, what Does you that help? It, on, it doesn't do it on your damage. Yeah, okay. no, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Your inspiration probably would, but not the one that you get from the gift. Got it. <laughs> oh, right then. So, uh, that, that sounds like, it. sounds like I'm making con saves for everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. There's so much area going on in that room. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Wait, so here's the question. Is Shatter's not a concent no, Shatter's not a concentration spell, right? No. Nope. Alright, good. Oh, oofta doofta. Alright, so we've got a 13, a 4, a 16, a 17, and an 8. So I would imagine. It's in it's in the thing it, there. It's a DC fourteen. It's, it's fourteen. The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one. Two, yep, yep, yep. So that's ooh, three fails and two saves. So thirteen and seven, six, six. Yeah, that's right. I'll give him some of you. All right. So, oh god, good god. All right then. So let's see here. So let's have you. Oof. So gentlemen, in the front. Yeah, I tell you. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Nope. Just otherwise, buddy won't believe me. Ooh, All right. Ooh. We get one. Yeah. Yay! So, one Durger Dan. Durger Dan. Durger Dan. Durger Dan. Durger Dan. So. More, 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 more. <laughs> I would, yeah, I was hoping for more big red X's. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, just making sure I'm, I'm killing all the right ones. All right, um, there. Yep. And yeah. Oof, that's a, that's a whole lot of doofta there, but well done. All right, so, uh, Zilvana, anything else? Um, nope. <laughs> Please no. All right, thank you. And <laughs> Professor. All right. Um, these are 
bars in this cell door, right? Yes. All right, I'm going to try to, like, use my shillelagh and, like, smack his arms to get him to drop this guard. Brilliant. I love that. Okay. I you said sit down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ten. Oh, good day. A 10 is not enough to hit. Yeah. All right. It's like your granddad telling you off. Yeah. <laughs> put it down. Go and eat your vegetables. Put it down. Xander. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. All right. Xander, you're up. Just looking to see if I had Shatter in my list, and I don't. Um, <laughs> I mean, I could totally pop a fog cloud in there. Be jealous. Um, oh my god. <laughs> what that do? Dude, don't think I didn't think about doing fog cloud at the top of this encounter up in the uh, room up there. <laughs> Fog cloud, yeah. Oh my uh, goodness gracious! Um, can can I assist getting the guard uh, out of the chokehold at all? I mean, can I rather than rather than making an attack at Klaska himself, can I you know like make an attack at his hands, which are grappling the the guard? Can I get the try to get the guard free? So so you can try. So you can either try to counter the grapple, but that's going to be an athletics check. Um, if you want to try to make an attack against Klaska's arms, just like um, the professor just did, you can go ahead and just make an attack. And that that would be good. Like you can So, just... can I do that not at disadvantage? Um, Since his yes, arms are yes, sticking out? Yes, yes. Okay. I would allow you to attack his arms at, at normal. Then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give that old arm the old the old hacking hacking thing. <laughs> Give it away. The old, oh, the old thing. Through. Oh, God. I hate roll With 20 eight. so much. <laughs> it's brutal I, tonight. It, it, well, it's, you know, uh, it's, it's not even the I'm fact that I rolled a two. It's the digital dice. It's because it's on the oh. 18 and then yep. it rolls over, but it yep. pauses for just a second. It, it's some sadistic. You can yep. do that just to be cruel just because, I mean, it's oh. It's a digital number generator. It's not like the dice is actually rolling. So it's Absolutely. just like, let's just torture you a little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. There's like, some sadistic bastard out there who's getting his jollies like, every yeah. time. It's like roll 20 going, ah, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm you already randomly picked the number. You're fine. All right. Yeah. Okay. Rant off. Oh, you okay. You okay. Uh, Tommy, can we can we can we call your mom? Because you you're not gonna make it out of this. We gonna yeah, can right. we call your mom for you? You you okay? You okay? <laughs> you okay? Shh. Me and the professor on either side of him going. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hit a stationary target. <laughs> he's, he's just so strong. Casters in the back here just we're we're struggling. Yeah yeah no kidding. Oh goodness gracious! All right, so let's see here. I'm intrigued by these people that are in the order that aren't in the room with us. I'm intrigued at what Ryan's got going on behind the scenes. Yeah, you. I, I, I said it. I think the the speaker is being murdered over here. Well, that would be intriguing, wouldn't it? Yep. Oh, that's a terrible answer. I don't like that. It's okay, guys. I'm only one turn away from the speaker. Oh my god. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. What can happen in that time? Yeah. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? 45 right. minutes into the, the combat. Yeah, right? Okay, so uh, as, as this poor Durgar slumps dead in the room in front of him, uh, this guy has to make a con save, right? <laughs> can I say? Cause... Come on. <laughs> um... All right, who am I talking to? We just did. Sorry, friends, making sure my turn order is correct and I'm actually attacking the right one. All right, yeah, brilliant, okay. Oh, you poor bastard. Okay, so let's see if he can save the day. He rolls his con save with a 14. Fucking pass, eight off uh, again. 
but takes how much? Eight. Eight. Oofta doofta. This guy's yeah. not. Uh, he's not looking hot. I'll be honest. Well, I mean, he's looking hot because he's in a sunbeam, moonbeam, whatever it is. All right. <laughs> so, he's about to sing moon river. All right. So he like goes ahead and wants to throw his. Okay. So he's going to try to throw his javelin at Herrick. I'm I'm copying Flynn. <laughs> Well, with a 14, I think it worked. <laughs> right, I, say I like that. Was that me? Yeah. I, think it, I think it was. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. <laughs> and... Uh, oh, yeah, back to the bottom. So the bottom... Oh, God. Oh, this poor, poor guard. All right. So uh can make the last strength check. I don't think I went. You what? missed me. Oh. 12... Okay, guard. You missed me, by the way. Oh, sorry. Well, no, no. I oh, I totally did miss you. I'm so sorry. I was wondering why I wasn't getting scorched alive. So, uh, <laughs> and, and I'm so sorry, Herrick. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing the two Durgar above you, not the two Durgar below you. Yes. Because Big thank you to <laughs> MCR Music, who's just gifted five subs. Thank you yeah. Very much. Whoa, yeah. Well, 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 on a so gifting much. spree. Much All right, so, uh, Herrick, go ahead and take your turn now. Um, well, that was a very friendly. Um, my, uh, da, 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 da. where are you? The one that threw a javelin at me. Oh, for freaking fuck's sake. Can I not hit a barn door tonight? All right. So, um, that's my, that's just obviously. Spiritual weapon, which is 14. Uh, which does not hit. Uh, and then we're going to pick the javelin up and throw it straight back at him. <laughs> um, I haven't got the, anything with the right. I'm just going to throw me dagger quickly. Uh, which is seven. Throw your dagger? Oh. Well, it's, it's not going to be my dagger. I'm throwing the javelin back. But I'm crit fishing for a 17. 17 to hit. Well, so a 17 would be a hit. Are you proficient with javelins, though? Uh, it's a simple weapon, isn't it? I'm I'm proficient with martial weapons, so yes. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So that that that'll do, that'll do, pig. Uh, all right, I... so a seventeen, a seventeen will hit. Oh, freaking <laughs> four damage. Bing. Yeah, yeah. All right, dig it. So four damage. I love it. I love it. So that guy takes four damage. Oh, brilliant. All right, so that's how you throw, throw it. <laughs> you. Throw it, toss it right back at him, it goes right back into his hand. No, 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 no. All right. Are the two of them just throwing it back and forth and catching it like a football? Yeah, I think so. I think that makes sense. All right. So now, now, uh, the one that was supposed to attack earlier is going to attack now. Uh, since we're actually past Herrick's turn. All right. Um, Durgar. Javelins. Uh, one of the back throws, aiming at Herrick. It is a six. That's a swing and a miss. It's a hit. No, oh yeah, the six <laughs> is a big old hit. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> and, that, and the last one there is gonna throw, and he, it's 15. So, nope, nope, misses and misses. All right, now, Fariel, we are up to you. Unmuting myself. Um, okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I am headed for the door of the room that the speaker's in. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, I can just get there. Is this door locked? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna beat on it. All right, and you hear the unmistakable voice of Imdra. What's going on? Who's there? Im Imdra, it's Fariel. Yes. Is everything all right? Yes. I mean, we, we heard shouting below. Uh, uh, Prudence is safe. And, and uh, are, are, are you all right? Is everyone okay downstairs? I, I haven't been downstairs. I ran straight here. Let me in. Oh. What? How do I know it's you? <laughs> is it actually you, Ferio? Yes. What do we pay you? It, you paid us in gems. What kind two, of gems? Two rubies, two amethysts, two emeralds. What? One more for the night. All right, 
she and she opens the door and standing uh, between the door and uh, uh, and Prudence is is Imdra and her guard. Does everybody seem? Yeah, everyone seems hail and hearty. <laughs> okay, I just want to like check the room. No, of course. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I'll just use my action to like. This is where Ferio stabs Prudence. Yeah. yeah. yeah right. <laughs> She's like message from the cold-hearted killer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh go ahead and uh if you want to make a perception check, make a perception check, but that will be your action. Yeah. All right, with the 15, 15, yeah, you look around the room, the guard seems a little bit rattled, but he actually seems a little bit more together and Imdra is of course like stone cold like like I'm waiting for like it's like, just try it uh, for someone to come through the door. And Prudence is perhaps the most shaken of all, but she's sort of in the corner and sitting in a chair and she's just like, is everyone okay downstairs? Your guess is as good as mine. I ran straight here. All right, well, get downstairs and help them if you can. I'll, I'll keep Prudence safe. It'll take me a while. <laughs> all right. And back to the Durgar. All righty. Fall down. Just fall down. Just yeah. fall down. So that first Durgar is dead. That second Durgar is not feeling so great. He's got to make a con save. Let's see. Oh, it. I didn't roll my thingy out. Yeah, so just... Yeah, let's well, see what the damage. Well, it's the same. Oh, 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 oh. oh good. Oh. Is, is it bad? No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's six, a 16. 16. <laughs> for you. All right, all right. Not so. looking good for you. A 21 is the save. Oh, eight off. Eight off. Ooh, but that might be. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oofta doofta. All right, so boom is the second one. Let me see. Let's see. Another one bites dust. Doom, doom. What's going on over there, Flynn? I can't see. <laughs> one fell down. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do that for? Wait a minute, did that one move away? Or are you, Mark? Okay, I was about to say, if it moved away, uh, no, no, no. got it. <laughs> He's got to move them apart to actually get the wheel to work right. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's Sad. super fun, let me tell you. All right, so uh, so those two are dead. So those two are dead. So dead. there's that. And, dig it. Uh, all right, dig it. So let's go ahead and... You skip two there, so... Oh, they both did, okay. Lovely. All right then, Flynn, you're up. Uh, I will take one step in, um, because if one of them wants to move out of my range, I want to hit it without attack of opportunity. But I'm gonna still keep dodge up. I'm, they're not, they're not going anywhere. It's going to... You've walked into uh, the moon. Are you moving into the moonbeam though? Oh, I think I would be. Then I'll stay mm. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like take, never take that sixteen damage. <laughs> like, don't oh, worry, guys. No. I got dodge on. I don't want to. <laughs> Melting. All right, so Flynn, not moving into the sun, into the moonbeam. Nope. And still dancing. Still dancing. All right, that's right. Just like nobody's watching. <laughs> no, like All everybody's right. watching. I love it. I love it. All right, anything else? No, I have nothing else. To say. Brilliant. And other things I can do. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, uh -huh. I was distracted by cat. Uh, <laughs> That's how it go. It is how it go. Um, I am going to. Oh uh, gosh. And if you got another <laughs> shatter, I wouldn't advise to not do it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I do have another shatter. I could also use dissonant whispers, which is, I think, is it's. Wait. Dissonant Whispers is one target, and Shatter is an area. An area. Ah, uh, all right. Dissonant Whispers, I think, does more damage, though. But... Yes. Um. Well, you know, screw it. Let's do it. I'll I'll do my last slot. Why not? Um, gonna cast Shatter again. Nice. Okay. Mm. okay. And so that'll hit the three remaining. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> and the other dead bodies as well. Yeah, <laughs> just blowing corpses. They're just, to bits. They're just blocking, just blocking the sound their barrier. Bones. All right, so we have a nineteen and eighteen and a sixteen. Holy so, shit! Oh wow. shit! You you uh yeah. You... So they all save. Yeah, they, they don't, all still they take five. They flexed on that one, but uh, they still taking five. So let's see here. Oh, oh, oh no! Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> like you know, I don't want to laugh because I hate that feeling with, of making the, the save. Yeah, I hate that feeling of making the save and still dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So, like, yeah. So they uh, they made that save, and and yet <laughs> uh, you see one of them like. As, as that initial blast kind of goes off, he's just like, ha sa <laughs> He just <laughs> literally just explodes into like red mist. Mm, uh, perfect. <laughs> Ooh, does that mean I'm winning? I think I killed two. Does that mean I'm winning? <laughs> <laughs> we're, all, we're on the same team. <laughs> but yes, you're winning. Track. No, you're winning. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what that means. All right. It makes me think We're of like in. Lord of the Rings when exactly. they're like counting. Exactly. <laughs> yep. yeah. All right. Uh, professor, you're up. That only counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's just mind sliver this Klaska guy. <laughs> I was wondering mind when you were going to get around to it. Yeah. No, uh, I need a intelligence save. Oh, well, good on you, because I can tell the gents. All right, so. I rolled crap damage, so. Is that reach? All right. Crap, crap damage? <laughs> crap damage. <laughs> crap damage. <laughs> you, rolled, you rolled a 19. All right, Jeez, so you I'm take crow. nothing. I take nothing? It's a cantrip. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Cantripping. All right. Uh, apparently a can't trip at this point, but um, all right, Professor. Anything else? <laughs> nope. Does, <laughs> does he sit down and take a rest? Yeah. <laughs> Cracks open a V eight. I, I, <laughs> I have managed to do nothing. I can't even save this one guard. <laughs> <laughs> so poor God. guard. This poor poor guard. <laughs> to be fair, Xander's here, and we still yeah. we still can't. We still Speaking can't of which, Xander, please <laughs> save this guard. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's got, I, he's got family. <laughs> I, I almost think it might be better if I just kill the guard. I mean, and not have him tell this tale anywhere ever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna go for the for Klaska's hands again. I'm gonna yeah. awesome. at some point I have to hit something. Well, yeah. we've been saying uh, that all night. You know. Yeah, like, yeah, that's point, true. You know. Careful, you might hit the professor. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Hey, oh, wait. there we go. So that's a dirty twenty, ladies and gentlemen. With that Yay. twenty, Xander can finally hit something. Yes. Oh, yes. Eleven, eleven piercing damage. That is. That's a beauty. Okay. So with that eleven damage, he managed. To, oh, so he, he he takes that hit, and as he like, as he pulls his arms back away from the guard, the guard slumps to the floor, seemingly unconscious. Hopefully his neck isn't broken, but it, it, he manages to let go. So nicely done. Thank you. Hooray! You heard Harry like whisper. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the whiskey that Flynn brought me. <laughs> you drank the whole bottle? I'm having performance issues. Oh my God. <laughs> God. Uh, that's my turn. I think they were right. right. Uh, oh good nearly all the bad guys are dead and the guards are getting here oh yeah, good right. just that's uh, about time all right take you uh, ass upstairs uh, pipper and make us some coffee the pipper I was, I was just, I was just checking. <laughs> yeah all right um oh my god do i have any yes uh, yes i do you you beauty sons of your all right so uh Dear God, I've only got the two of them left, do I? All right, so yeah, con saves or like... no, no, that's it. There, wait. Oh, if they're starting their turn, they're in the moonbeam. Uh, no, they're not. Aren't they? Nope, they're outside. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you moved it to the back. No, no, he didn't move it last turn. Uh. Jab Never you. mind. I'll keep my taunting no, hey, to myself. Come on, come on, come on, come over here. Come on, come on. You gotta, you gotta get up close to hit this. Come on, just come on up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want some of this? Come on. You gotta, come you on, gotta man. get up close to hit this. Okay. <laughs> come on, get up, get on up. 
know. All right. Uh, all right. So uh, these Jesus, these these poor loaned <laughs> these two Durgar look at each other. I've always loved you. I know. <laughs> uh, no, uh, and they uh, so they're just gonna go ahead and. Uh, uh, the first one's gonna go ahead and chuck his javelin at Herrick, the cleric, for a 16. Missed. Oh, curse you and the horse you rode in on. Uh, that guy's dead, so Herrick, you're up. Okay, I will move the mean be- mean? The mean, the mean, the mean, the mean, the mean, mean, <laughs> mean, the mean, the mean, the mean, mean, mean. I'll move it to there, so it covers the hole. All right. And then, um... Wait, wait, wait. so you moved it so it covers the two of them? Is so that it you cover, it covers the two of them and their okay. escape. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The two of them and their escape. Because I'm nice and kind. All right, so that's your action. Uh, Bonus action. Oh, hello. A 23. <laughs> yes, that's a hit. Roll that damage. This comes in whirling in for a whopping nine damage. That's oh, not bad. Oh, yeah. So as that nine damage comes in, boom. Takes and out the one. Bonus, any bonus? I've got healing word. This guard on the floor might need some healing. <laughs> He's fine. Uh, Everything's fine. Ooh. Oh, now, now I know he is. And the professor is fine. Yeah. He's not fine. The professor's going through his pockets. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> uh, that's all I can do. Yeah, I was say, He'll just, wake uh, up. All right. Lovely. All right, then. And so oh, then, yeah. Oh. And oh, only well. one remains. Man, that's it. Well, oh, did he kill? It. What happened to him? Technically, Clask is still oh, in there. Oh, did the... I kill him? <laughs> yeah, you, you killed one of them, you bastard. All right, then. <laughs> you so, bastard. You bastard. bastard. All right, uh, so let's see here. So this last Durgar is going to go ahead and... Oh, there's go. <laughs> Make his con save. Make for con javelin. Make his con save first. Make his con save first. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. From, the, your, beam, from your, the mean beam. <laughs> what's your moonbeam damage this round? Moon beam beam damage. Oh, yeah. yeah 16. <laughs> it was now, it's, now it's a mean beam. Okay. All right, so he rolled a 16 for that. Six damage. All right. All right, so he takes six damage. He's oh my. still up. Fall down. <laughs> He's just like, stop dancing. <laughs> uh, he rolled a 17 to hit for the javelin. Who, me? Missed. Ah, uh, all right then, uh, and and uh, and that and that'll be him. And now, uh, Klaska is going to attempt to grapple the uh, the professor. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Go for it. This is gonna be a grab at disadvantage. Put the old man the, down. Yeah, because of the angle. But uh, let's uh, let's try to have some fun with this. Well, and the the giant slash in his arm that I put in it last round. Oh yeah. Please, he's, he's fought with worse. All right. A scratch. Is this a, an opposed roll? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he rolled a uh, seven. So eat it, old man. Uh, I rolled a three. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Is it too late to use my D20 inspiration? Is that something we said it's has to late. be used You, you have before? to declare it before okay. you roll it. So. He's, like, yep. he's going, come here, old man. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. He's like, Oh, I mean, no, so this is the professor rooting through the guard's pockets and Klaska just reached through and grabbed him. <laughs> he's like, no, yep. no, he's got some change. All right, so, um, all right. And ladies and gentlemen, we're back to the top of the order with Fariel. Oh, um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm actually going to stay with the speaker. Awesome sauce. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to on that. Um, I might, I mean, since I have the time, just make an insight check on the um the the people in here just to see if i if they yeah. are legitimately like yep i got you everything down uh, or I got you know you. Okay, so roll me that insight that's a you know <laughs> average roll of 10. so with that average very average roll of, of a 10 insight like obviously imdra is imdra and like Prudence is like quakey, and and the guard that she has with her seems a little more bulky and and brutish than you're used to seeing around it. But uh, he, he's like 
He's got his eyes sort of like he'll look to Imdra every now and then, and Imdra will look back at him and sort of nod, and he'll like keep his eyeballs out the window and sort of like he's he's pacing the room like he should be. So he's he's going about patrols as somebody who may actually know what the hell he's doing. So okay. I'm just gonna hang here and keep an eye on things. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What about your friends? Oh, they're fine. Is this tea for anyone? I think I'll. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the coffee, Dad. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, just roll through some of my. Uh, oh, oh, so the Durgargo next. Um, he's dead. Is he's it dead. Coffee? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Kendra, how's your mom? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know, a 30 foot movement speed is just the slowest damn thing in the world. All right. All right. So, uh, hmm. especially. It's you- curious that you still have a Durgar on the turn order that's not Klaska that's moving. Hmm. I have one that's moving? Hmm. All right. So, uh, Flynn, you're up. Uh, the last one's he's still up there? He's still standing? Oh, yeah, still standing. He threw that last javelin with a distinct fuck you flip of the wrist. Um, where is he? Is he in uh, the um, fairy fire? He, he is in the moonbeam, and he has been fairy fired. Yes. Because I don't think Zolvana has cast a concentration spell since then. So. No. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna. Uh. <laughs> as Flynn is dance, just like is like dancing, he's gonna drop one of his swords reach for the hand axe in his belt and throw it in like one smooth body roll motion. I love it. I love it. And I can hit the side advantage. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, no? You, okay. you do. You do. Absolutely. <laughs> very fire. No. <laughs> I was just like, what? just because you're so smooth. No. Come- oh, my Damn. God. Oh, dear God. Flip. Come on. You're better than this. I'm better than this. All right. So with a nine, unfortunately, that is not enough to hit. It, well, it, in my mind, you like throw it into the moonbeam and it just goes and like fries the hand axe. Huh. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well played, moonbeam. Well played. Uh, anything else, Flynn? Nope. Uh, I, he, they don't have disadvantage on me for the next turn because I stopped uh, dodging. All right. Uh, uh, Zolvana, you're up. All right. So since there's only one of them, I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery. <gasps> No, no, no. I lied. I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers. All right. Um, and I'm going to be like... Mm-hmm. You still have a spell slot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I have one more after this. Oh, I thought you said you used them all. That's all. Second level. I didn't. All right, Good. DT 14. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm not even sh- Okay, well, you know what? Uh, what is it? What is it? Wisdom? Wisdom. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> he rolls a 17, ah, but with the nine psychic damage, I imagine he takes half damage. Sure. On dissonant whispers, I believe you. Yeah. Yes. So even with that four damage, he tries to like shake it off and you see blood trickling out his ear. And as he does it, he, Drops to the ground. Whew. And another one bites dust. All right, dig it, Professor. You are grappled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna dissonant whispers on Klaska. All right. So I need a wisdom save from Klaska also. Oh, goodness gracious. All right then. So. He rolled an 11. Oof. Mm. Okay. So he takes all 17 psychic and he has to move away from me. Oh my God. With that 17 psychic, his like, he, he like grapples you and he hears the, what what does he hear in his head? Uh, He just hears in a, like in a deep, like otherworldly echo. Like, I told you to sit down. (laughs) (laughs) And as and as he does that, he like he like lets go of you, and he grabs the series. He's like, ah! And he starts slamming his head against the wall to try to get the sound to stop. And as you watch him literally beat his brains in, 
He slumps against the side of the wall and is dead. Well oh. done. That's fine. <laughs> like, like we're 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 sure we can tell he's dead, or is could he be playing? Uh, I mean, you've seen people play possum, but very few of them have ever had like half a face. So. <laughs> I don't know if he can he can like fake like shattering his own skull. Into very few of them get the red X. Yeah. Um, All right. So Xander, you're up. Uh, they're all down. Sorry, guys. What? So I may in, have I may have killed the prisoner. In all of this, DM. Yes. What what has this cat been doing? Oh, Nothing. he's he's like huddled in the corner and is has not prepared for, for this today. Like he's just oh, 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 in the fetal position. Just. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like he's just like oh god. <laughs> I don't know. I should have been a dentist. (laughs) I, uh... All right, so... Because I... This uh, this is... There's no way this is over because the music's still going. Uh, I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself, which I should have done long ago. I was going to say, that's cool. Yeah. It's still just not in my my muscle memory to do. Um, Let me track that spell slot. And... Okay. Um, and I'm going to yell out to this guy, your friend needs help. Come help him. And I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, sh- I can't dash because I cast a spell. Uh, I'm going to move to here. But I have, I have yelled at this guy to come help his friend. Okay. Okay. Are you trying to... Is- you give me like an intimidation thing. That, no, you've already cast a spell. Okay, so no, you're no. I'm not trying to intimidate him. It's like yeah, this guy. This guy's your friend. Come help him. And if he doesn't, then it's like, well, I guess y'all ain't friends. Um, you're not getting yep. a Christmas card. <laughs> awesome socks. All right, friends. So uh, as Xander does that, go ahead. Y'all doing such a good job. I'm real proud of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and and then uh-huh. no, I, be- I believe you but I'm waiting for the but then... dot 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 no more and then <laughs> <laughs> but then you're all level five no okay <laughs> so uh, these two guys come down the corridor and as soon as they come down the corridor they look at you and go ah, ah, that's him and the first guy swings his mace at you at me at you oh my god Ooh. with a six misses horribly but the guy behind him fires his heavy crossbow and also rolls a six jesus guys you are the worst in the world all right then so uh that's that. Uh, and then, as that happens... I'm going to let you know, it is not going to have gone as well for them as they hoped here oh. in just as soon as it's my turn again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, blow them up. I don't have many blow them ups. But I, I do have, But I do have one that I think this situation fits. Yeah. This situation calls for some skull duggery. All right then. So that means uh Herrick, I'm back to you, man. <clears throat> Very nice. Well, Harry, well, oh, that's dead. Okay. Um, the guards have turned. What? He's moved down the- here. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, stand over him. Look down. Look up. See Xander fighting him. Oh. And then we'll call his mean moonbeam down 60 foot, which <laughs> is more than enough. 30. <laughs> <laughs> Just to there. All right, so you're putting it exactly right there. there. Sixty foot. Exactly there. Brilliant. Oh, what about that? Would that help? Absolutely. And then there's a bonus action. I can uh-huh. move my my spiritual weapon. Correct? Is that right? Yeah, it's a bonus action. You can only I can move twenty five feet. Yeah. Okay, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. That's there. I need a. An icon for it. So it's just in front of Silvana for now. Yeah, yeah. Um, can I? Do you have a name? Do you have a name for it? I, like, 
Like yeah, Ryan's no. is Steve. Ah, yes, Steve. I might call it Paul. Paul. <laughs> All right, I love it. Paul. All right, then. Uh, is that it, Herrick? That's it for me, yeah. Lovely. All right, then. Uh, Fariel. I am going to just um, kind of step outside this doorway, see what this guy's doing. Uh, he is like guarding the door, kind of looks over his shoulder, sees you, huh? and then kind of goes back to staring at the door. Just looking at the door. Just like <laughs> locked on the door, just like, yeah, move, say something, yeah. do it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> man, say man. man. Everything look all right out there? I mean, can't see you past the door, but yeah. Everything sound all right? I mean, other than you talking to me, uh, I think it sounds normal, I think. You I heard, think? I, I kept hearing like loud booms from the below us, but I imagine you heard that too. All right. I think we're okay. Right? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Mario? No, Maybe? I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm staying with Imtra and the speaker just because. I, I love it. Um, I don't trust what's right. happening. Yeah, I, I don't trust people. That's good. I like it. All right, dig it. Um, let's guard here. Soon as. My game keeps freaking out. All right, good. So, do, 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 moves to. Yeah. All right, dig it. And Flynn, you beautiful dancing man, you're up. Uh, I'm going to pick up uh, my other rapier so I've got two in my hand again. And five, 10, 15, 20. Uh, uh, I'm going to run and get up right behind, um, right behind Xander. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all I got. All right, good. Zilvana, you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move and I'm gonna bring up the caboose there. Uh, <laughs> Zilvana, and... bring that caboose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. Um, and let's see. Um, I'm gonna cast vicious mockery. Um, towards the can only be at one person, so the one in front there. At at Pipper. Mm -hmm. At Pipper. 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 Casting at yeah. Pipper. Pipper. Um, can I, if you can don't I... sit down, you're going to be in big trouble, Pipper. <laughs> Is it? Can I use inspiration? I keep forgetting if I can use it. I'm so sorry. No, it's all right. Um, so you can't use inspiration. Oh well, the, you're talking about your deed. Well, so for your spell, I have to make the wisdom save for it. So there's nothing you yeah. can add or, or okay. subtract to that. So like, that's just me. I mean, to... like but my damage, I guess. You, as a valor, you can add it to I think melee if I'm not mistaken. But let me double okay. check that real quick. So, uh, uh, her bardic needed... inspiration she can, but not for yeah. Her, oh, bardic inspiration, inspiration, but not as but, but yeah. Okay. You're yeah. not talking about like. Are you talking about like our roll twenty inspirations? No, I'm like the D6 that I got earlier. Yeah, that's, that's a gift. Oh, yeah, yeah no, that is, that is simply added to ability scores or saving throws. Or, okay. So, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, no so many no, spells no. today, it's just weird. I know, right? Just burning through. <laughs> okay, so, uh, that thug needs to make a, a wisdom saving throw. And they roll the 19. Oh, screw them. Well done, Pipper. All right then. So uh, with that, uh, that's vicious mockery. So yeah, that's nothing. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Dig it. Anything else? Uh, sorry. No. All right, <laughs> Professor, you're up. Yeah, I have used my spell slots today, so I'm just gonna have to mind sliver. Let's mind sliver, Pipper. All right then. Mind sliver, Pipper. So she needs intelligence save. How uh, smart is Pipper? Well, it depends on the die roll, but uh, not too smart. That's a five. Excellent. 
uh, four psychic damage and uh, was that a minus d4 on his next saving throw? Oh, how rude! All yeah. right, so four psychic damage and a minus d4 on the next saving throw. All right, minus four, which I'm sure you'll keep me honest about. Yeah. All right, brilliant. All right then, uh, and of course Xander. Now, Professor, why on earth would you give him disadvantage on a saving throw when you knew I was going to cast a Ganazar Scorcher, <laughs> which is five foot wide, 30 feet long, meaning this guy down here is actually safe by the grace of God. Oh, my I was God. Gonna, I was, like, was going <laughs> to burn him up. I mean, I was like, is he, does he it do ends right in front of his face and he just like. Watches uh, this bolt yeah, he, of fire just wash down the hallway. Straight he's toward definitely him. part of the brown pants uh, platoon oh now. Oh my goodness! Um, all, right, all right, but those so, guys need to make a DC 13 deck save. Right, one so of them at one minus one d4. Uh, oh, that's fair. That's fair. Here's the second save. Oof, oof. -da. All right. So, uh, so the first save was for Piper. She rolled. She rolled a 19. Um. Less a D4. Yeah, minus a D4, which, oh, which is, which is what? Uh, I got to roll the D4. It's still a save. It's, it's not going to save. All right, so that's a 16. And then the second roll, buddy, was a 17. Uh, all right, so they both still take nine points of fire damage. Oof. Nice. Like in their face holes. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's uh, good. And you saw, did you see the message I sent you? Put in your face uh, hole. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, an import, it's an important one. No, no. I, I hear you. I see you. I acknowledge you. Uh huh. Okay. Serious, sir. All right then. So uh, then from there, uh, these. So upon getting like scorched, uh, the first thug is going to go ahead. So the back thug here, who is tall, tall is going to go ahead and make fire a, a crossbow. Make a, shot. make a save first. Oh, that's right. Because of the thing. Uh, Con save, and then con save. All right, so uh, it's a fourteen and a seventeen for the two of them. Uh, both take both three take, damage. Both take three damage. All right, so he lost some strength when we moved it up the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to take another round to power back up. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so Tal's gonna fire a heavy crossbow at Xander for a sixteen to hit. Um, you know what I'm. So 16 is my AC, but rather than rolling off with you, I yeah. am going to cast shield. You saucy minx. All right, well done. So ping, ricochets off. Uh, and then Tal is going to go ahead and beat feet uh, up and out and back the way. That he, oh, rah, 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 rah. All right, so that's five. Ten. DC 13 deck save. Boop. All right. Deck save for the trap. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can take it. All right, all right. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, roll the fucking four. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. You can bring his ass right back onto this map. If you would, sir. That's right. Oh, that's funny. Tal is there, and then Piper is going to go ahead and disengage and push past Tal and run up the steps. All right, dig it. Uh, and... Uh, A.O. Oh, Disengage. shoot. Disengage. I, I didn't get an A.O. anyway, because shield is my reaction. Ah, dig it. So, uh, and with that, friends, uh, we're down to Herrick, who will be the last turn uh, for this game. And then we'll uh, pick up this the second half of this fight. Uh, next week. So, Herrick. What? We're only halfway done? I know, only halfway done. Oh, so, no. Herrick, uh, it is uh, your turn, sir. <laughs> so, as the, as the two of them flee up the stairs, well, attempt to flee, Tal is currently trapped in a trap. Fucking trap. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, excuse me, coming through, and I will move to. Can I use. Very apologetically, want to sort of like bull rush through. You need to move the moonbeam first. Uh, oh, I do, yeah. No, no, no. Let him con save. Um, <laughs> no, 
Oh, no, Let him learn. I, I, Let him learn. I moved the, the moonbeam up to to here. All right. Well, Tau, this is... Where's the trap? The trap's here, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, Tau is on the trap. So he would have gone 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. So Ripper, is Pippa still there, yeah? Uh, yeah. Wait, yeah? Because that's what? Uh, five, I, ten, I will move... Oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, so actually, Pippa is... Like, right... She's so They're the next spike, the little step up. Hang on one second. There we go. So Pipper uh -huh. is there. there. 10, 15, 20, 20 30. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, I will drop the moonbeam, get to here, and smack tail. <laughs> so drop the moonbeam, you, you know, smack tail. Yeah, you nice. Traitorous bastard. What are you smack him with? A war pick for 20. Nice. 30, 20. 20 30, absolutely 30. hits. Roll that damage. 7 damage. Seven damage to Tau. Uh, does the trap restrain them or just grapple them? Oh, it does grapple them. Hang on. Oh, For... If he's grappled, I don't think you get advantage. Yeah, grappled is an advantage. Restrained, restrained is an advantage, but so it's grappled. But uh, damage double, is let's, well, let's verify that. Uh, display and V. Just checking. Creature that steps on the plate must succeed. Save and throw. Piercing damage. Stop moving. Creature breaks free. It da, 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 da. doesn't mention anything. No. Don't know anyone worked that out. Okay. Uh, it just says stop moving. Ah. But then it All does right. say that they've got to spend a save to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't mention anything about restraint. Um, that's seven. Yeah, damage, we'll just say so. grapple. It's fine. All right. So that's seven damage. Boom! Oh, splash! With the pick coming in, and that, friends, is where we'll leave tonight's game, as yes. the party has successfully fended off the Durgar assault. And it seems that there are turncoats in the East Haven Hall themselves. <gasps> so seems next seems seems. <laughs> uh, uh, so join us next week for Cold Hard Witch.